It's Monday from Brandon to St. Pete and all around Tampa Bay, plus worldwide on iHeartRadio. The gloves are off. I'm playing hardball. It's fourth and 15, and you're looking at a full court press. You're tuned into the voice of the Tampa Bay sports fan. You're going to like this guy. He's all right. He's a good fella. He's one of us. Buckle up. Because you're on the drive with t Crass. Afternoons on 95.3 WDAE and AM 620. Welcome aboard on a Monday afternoon in Tampa Bay. It's the drive with T-Kraz, 95.3 WDAE and AM 620. Great to have you with us. Hope you had a great weekend on this April the 1st, 2024, April Fool's Day. It's so played out. Let's stop with the jokes. I see it on social media. Stop. You're not fooling anybody. What's the big deal? What's the big deal? What's the whole point of April Fool's Day? Oh, I fooled you. It's April Fool's. So I give you an April Fool's. Chris Mathis on the other side, the executive producer. We are live, 95.3 FM, AM 620. Don't forget to download the iHeartRadio app for free. Crystal clear reception through the app. The iHeartRadio app is awesome. Commercial-free podcasts of this hideous program can also be accessed through the iHeartRadio app. It is great. And don't forget, we are streaming. And this is very important because today we have a giveaway that is attached to streaming. And those of you who are watching the show will have an opportunity to win a pair of tickets to join us in a suite for the Rays game against the San Francisco Giants on Friday night, April the 12th. We're going to be giving away a pair of tickets all week long, a pair each day. We're calling it the drive night out for the Rays. You get to join us in a suite for the Rays game against the Giants on Friday, April the 12th. So you need to be tuning in on the stream because that's how you're going to win these tickets. So tune in, 95.3 WDAE, on Facebook, Twitch, and YouTube TV. Like and subscribe at 953 WDAE, and you will have a chance to win these tickets by watching the stream. We're going to tell you how to do it in a matter of moments. Here are the phone numbers, 888-546-4620, and on the Bartow 4 DA text platform at 82945, where standard message and data rates do apply. Coming up in an hour... Brian Anderson, Rays TV analyst, will join us. We'll break down what the Rays did over the weekend. And if you are paying attention and watching us through the stream for the Brian Anderson interview, I will hold up the keyword at some point during the interview. So you got to be watching on the stream because I'm just going to hold it up. It's a piece of paper. I got to put it aside so no one else can see it. Can I see that, Tom? No. Oh, man. Uh, I, I'll tell you what you can see. Oh, I, I don't oh, know if on. I want to see what you're talking no, about, no, Tom. I'll tell you what. No, you, no, 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 no. <laughs> Come on, man. Third prize is your first. <laughs> so, see the door? Okay. Yeah, there's a door. So at some point during the interview of Brian Anderson, I'm going to hold up the keyword with the phone number, which is 888-546-4620. So when you see the keyword after I hold it up, the first correct caller to give Chris Mathis the keyword, gets a pair of tickets to join us in a suite for a Friday night. The Rays and the Giants, Friday, April the 12th. It's a beautiful thing, but you have to be watching the stream for my interview with Brian Anderson, which is coming up at around 4 to 4.05. Oh, nice. It is nice, Tyler Glass, now. <laughs> so a lot of Rays talk today. We've got the good, the bad, and the ugly coming up at 4.30. Don't forget, we're off. <laughs> Yeah. Well, well, why is that a grunt? Uh, ugly. Bad and ugly. Well, Todd Bowles, you know. Todd Bowles is fine. Last year. Todd Bowles is good. This week he's fine. You're right. He's fine. He's good. The Bucks are good. By the way, three and a half weeks away until the NFL draft. So, yeah, baby, we're all over it. I can hardly wait. I was talking to some people yesterday for Easter. Actually, it was my family, my brother's. And we were talking about the NFL draft, which is coming up. So very exciting because a lot of quarterbacks are going to go high. Quarterbacks are going to dominate the first round. But what about the Bucs at pick 26? 
What might they do? We're going to get into some NFL draft rumors a little bit later on. Some lightning talk. They continue their torrid streak. We've got the final four all set. It looks like a collision course. I may or may not be a genius. I don't know. We're going to find out in about a week or so. But so much to do here on the drive as we'll take you up until 530. And then Ronnie Lane with uh, pass ball will be coming your way then as the Rays will welcome in the defending world champion, Texas Rangers. Speaking of the Rays, that is the subject of our opening drive on a Monday. Start the engine. Gas to the floor. Here's the opening drive. So a mixed bag over the weekend with the Rays against the Toronto Blue Jays, and it did not start off well. We were there on opening day. It was the initial maiden voyage of the drive, and Zach Eflin got knocked around, and the Rays lost that game 8-2. to two. And then I came on here on Friday, and I said, relax, because so many Rays fans reached out to me through text, through social media. Boy, this team's not good enough. <laughs> This team's not going to make the playoffs. Even though you mother everything we do. No, not everything, Kevin Cash. It wasn't me, buddy, because I've got you guys making the playoffs as a wild card with 88 wins. So I said, relax. The Rays are going to be fine. No worries. And then the Rays went out on Friday night and they turned the tables on the Blue Jays. Thanks to Aaron Savali, who was terrific. They won it 8-2, to two, and then they continued on Saturday, thanks to Zach Littell, who was pretty good. I mean, he worked some deep counts, but uh, he got out of there really unscathed. They didn't give up any runs, and the Rays ended up winning the game 5-1. to one. And in the midst of that game, per se, you saw some rough stuff. You saw some fisticuffs, sort of. Choke him now. Choke him. Choke him. Choke him. Yeah, Genesis Cabrera thought he was, uh, you know, Bobby the Brain Heenan on the set of the primetime wrestling with the Red Rooster. What the hell was that all about? Genesis Cabrera, a one-time member of the Rays farm system. So, Caballero, you know, was probably a little too aggressive on that bunt that was thrown down the right field line. He's trying to go to third, gets thrown up by 20 feet, and then... You know, he overruns third and then runs right into Cabrera, who, you know, probably didn't appreciate. And then Caballero said, I I appreciate you just kind of shoving me. And then Cabrera was like, oh, yeah, let me shove you again. Ow. Ow. And, you know, he pushed his face. He kind of mushed him a little bit. And then both benches emptied, you know. No punches were thrown. But, you know, I think Major League Baseball did a good job. Cabrera's a punk. He started it. And then he exacerbated the situation. And, you know, good for Major League Baseball. Kudos for that three-game suspension. Get out in front of it. I know Cabrera said after the game, well, you know, it was the heat of the moment. Then why'd you shove him again? If it was the heat of the moment. Well, what do you got to prove? Shove them twice. Three-game suspension. Good job, Major League Baseball. Let me tell you something. If I was a commissioner, if I was in charge of a lot of these things, I'd be heavy-handed, man. I don't care. Especially if you're a repeat offender, if you're like a Draymond Green. I I would have no qualms whatsoever, no conscience for 10, 15, 20-game suspensions. You're lucky I'm not a commissioner or I'm not in charge of these such matters because, man, I would drop the hammer on these guys so fast it'll make your head spin. But good job, Major League Baseball, suspending Cabrera for three games for his dastardly attack on Jose Caballero, who, by the way, is off to a pretty good start. He's hitting 385. Again, you saw some good, you saw some bad. Here's the one thing you can rely on with the Rays, and we kind of talked about this on Thursday and Friday. And there was one dope on Instagram who, you know, is going to remain nameless. I actually know the guy, you know. Are you, wait, I saw that comment you made back. You know that guy? I do, unfortunately. Come on, dude. Yeah. And he knows you. He does. Why would he say that? Because, you know, he's a clown. People just can't help themselves. So I came on here, I think it was on Friday, and I mentioned, 
Look, last year you had a lot of Rays guys playing over their heads. Can you sustain that kind of production? Can Isak Paredes go 31 to 98? I have my doubts. And so far, I know we're only talking about four games, but Paredes is two for 15. With five strikeouts, he's hitting 133. You know, Hal Ramirez is one for 17. So those two guys are off to very slow starts. However, when you talk about a guy like Yandy Diaz, he's sustainable because he's good. Last year, he led the American League in hitting. This year so far, he's hitting 357. Randy Arozarena last year was a 2020 guy. He added the bulk. So far, so good. And 14 at bats, he's got two home runs. He's hitting 357. That's what you want to see. You want to see your star players remain consistent. And those two guys have a really good chance of repeating what they did last year. I'm not sure if Paredes can. I'm not sure if Josh Lowe can because he was outstanding from a year ago, hit 290 plus with 20 plus home runs, 30 plus stolen bases, and now he's hurt for the first month of the regular season. So that's unfortunate for him. Hopefully he can make it back, but you know, I find it tough for him to repeat those kind of numbers. The other positive I see with the Rays so far is Brandon Lau, who had a very tough spring. You know, if it's not his back, it's a finger. It's the, you know, the fractured knee where he fouled the ball off his knee late last year. And then in the spring, you know, he's trying to find his timing, trying to find his groove. But so far, you know, he's got a home run. He's got four RBI hitting 273. It's a good sign. And those are the three guys that really have to carry you because Juan DeFranco is not here anymore. Do I think he's coming back? I doubt it. I would say it's highly unlikely. But in his absence, the three guys who have to carry the Rays are Yandy Diaz, Randy Rosarena, and Brandon Lau. Those are the three guys. They've got to do it. They've got to carry the weight on their shoulders moving forward. Because the race starting pitching, as we've seen so far, some good, some bad. Really encouraged by Zach Littell and what he did. He fought his way through some problems. But he ended up, you know, pitching a really good game the other day. And I thought Savali was tremendous on Friday. And that's what you're looking for. You're looking for the starting rotation to kind of balance things out. Until the help comes, until the cavalry comes over that hill. And the cavalry looks like Taj Bradley sometime in May, probably early June from the pectoral injury. And then maybe Shane Boz in late May, early June. And then later on this summer, Jeffrey Springs and Drew Rasmussen. And if the Rays can somehow play 500 to 520 ball until those guys come back, then I think you're going to give yourself a really good chance to go on a run because in baseball, only the teams that pitch really well go on seven, eight, nine game winning streaks, 10 of 11, 13 of 15, 17 of 20. You've got to be able to pitch well in order to go on a streak like that. And we've seen the Rays do it. I mean, they've used a ton of pitchers the last couple of years, 35 last year, 35 or so. The year before that, yada, yada, yada. I think it's going to be in excess of 30 again this year with all the injuries and everything else. But that's how you're going to sustain a winning streak. you got to be able to pitch. And we know the bullpen is going to be outstanding. Without question. It's one of the best bullpens in all of baseball. If the starting rotation can kind of manage a situation a little bit, then I think they're going to be able to win some games because... I think there's a pretty good blend of power and athleticism in this lineup. And when Josh Lowe does return, it's only going to be even more so, right? So far through four games, they've hit five home runs and they've stolen six bases. Jose Siri's got three of those stolen bases. By the way, I really love his aggressiveness. And sometimes, you know, he'll take it to another level. I mean, this is a guy who's not shy about stealing at all. You know, I've seen this guy in spring training is stealing third, stealing home. He doesn't care. He'll take the extra base whenever possible. And you like that aggressiveness. And 
I think the Rays are going to push for 160 stolen bases. That's how many they stole last year. So you're basically averaging a stolen base per game. And right now, they've got six in four games. I think they will continue to be aggressive on that front. And yesterday was a little disappointing because, you know, you're hoping that the Rays would win in order for them to take three out of four, which would have been a great way to start the season. Now you got the defending champs in town. I'm very much interested in watching Ryan Pepio, who at times this spring looked dominant. And now he gets a really big challenge right off the bat with this high-powered Rangers lineup with all the firepower they bring to the table. This is going to be a great match for young Ryan Pepio, the guy that they got in the whole Tyler Glass now trade. And we know what kind of potential he does have, and the Rays are excited about what he can do as well. But tonight, we're going to find out if he's going to be up to the challenge of trying to hold down, you know, Adolis Garcia and Marcus Simeon and Corey Seager. You got Wyatt Langford, the kid from the Florida Gators, who I think is going to be in the running for Rookie of the Year. And, you know, he's got another guy on this team who you know, is also going to be in the running for Rookie of the Year. I mean, the Rangers have all kinds of firepower up and down their lineup. So this would be a great test for young Ryan Pepio here tonight. Speaking of the Florida Gators, Dane Dunning will go for Texas this evening. Really intriguing pitching matchup as the Rays open up a three-game set with these Texas Rangers. Of course, all the action can be heard right here on 95.3 WDAE and AM 620. So... Your thoughts on the Rays through the first four games, what you liked, what you didn't like. We've got the good, the bad, and the ugly from what we saw over the weekend. 888-546-4620 and on the Bartow 4 DA text platform at 82945 where standard message and data rates do apply. So we've got the defending world champs in town. That should be exciting. I still have them winning the West. And this was before the season began with the Astros being the wild card. The Astros are off to a really rough start as they were swept by you-know-who. The New York Yankees? The New York Yankees! Uh Uh-huh. Juan Soto making his presence known for those New York Yankees as they have started off 4-0 for the first time since 2003. First place, hey. Great job. You go into Houston, you beat the Astros, you sweep them four straight. That's a heck of a job by the Yankees. A Yankee team without Garrett Cole, basically on a month-to-month basis. So they're off to a flying start at 4-0. The Tigers are off to a good start. They're 3-0. You got the Rays, the Jays, and the Red Sox. They're all 2-2. The Orioles are 2-1. So the AL East... Looking pretty good so far. As expected, would you say, Tom? Yeah, look, I mean, I think everyone pretty much thought that the AL East is going to be a really competitive division. I don't think the Red Sox are going to have the staying power. And look, the Yankees are off to a really good start thanks to Juan Soto and some pretty good pitching on their end of it and some clutch hitting as well. But the two things to watch is, is Garrett Cole going to be back by... June the 1st. And Aaron Judge has stated that he is not completely healthy from the various elements with that guy. Don't forget, you're talking about a guy who's six foot eight, you know, 270 pounds. He's got, you know, the toe issue, which continues to bother him a little bit. Is he ever going to be 100%? Who knows? But we do know one thing that Juan Soto has made a huge impact for this Yankee team, both offensively defensively as well he's off to a great start he's nine for 17 with a home run he's hitting 529 as well the Cabrera is also off to a good start with a couple of home runs for the Yankees you know DJ LeMahieu another guy up there in age with some injury issues is that sustainable is as Waldo Cabrera going to be able to sustain that we're really really early folks so you know the Yankees are off to a good start the Rays will see them at some point But the Rays have to worry about the Texas Rangers beginning here tonight. And a good start for Yandy, a good start for Randy. I think Brandon Lau's off to a good start. Had the big grand slam the other night. Can the other players 
in this lineup continue to produce? Can Hal Ramirez get things going? Can Jose Caballero keep it up at 385? I like what I saw out of Ahmad Rosario from the other day. I think he's going to make a pretty big impact for this Rays team. By the way, and we'll talk to Brian Anderson coming up at 4 o'clock, but Ben Wartvet, oh my goodness. Uh, that's what I aspire to look like when I, you know, I was in the gym this morning and, you know, I'm just thinking maybe, maybe if I can push it a little too hard, I can end up looking like Ben Rortvet at I don't some know. point. Don't, don't push it too hard, Tom. No, I can't, man. Not, not at my age. Even, even really at anybody's age though, if you try to go too hard and you tweak something, you're done, man. You no. tweak your back early. Yeah. You're never getting over that. I, and yeah, I, the I, guy's in shape. I know what you're saying. He's unbelievable. Oh my gosh. He is unbelievable. We'll talk to Brian Anderson about the new Rays backup catcher, about what the Rays did over the weekend against Toronto. What can they do in this three-game series against the defending world champion Texas Rangers? 888-546-4620. Don't forget, a pair of tickets to drive night out. That is what we're calling it now. A pair of tickets for you to join us, me and Chris Mathis, in a suite at a Rays game. It is the Rays and the San Francisco Giants on Friday, April the 12th. What a great way to spend the Friday night. Randy Land, the Rays wearing their Devil Rays uniforms. You get to hang out with us in a suite with food and drink. No alcohol, unfortunately, up in the suite, but you guys are on your own for that. But still, it's a great time to hang out with us. You have to be watching us on the stream through YouTube, Facebook, or Twitch. During my interview with Brian Anderson, I'm going to hold up a piece of paper with the keyword. And the first person to call Chris Mathis to relay the keyword that I'm going to hold up, and you have to be watching on the stream, folks. Brian Anderson will join us just after 4 o'clock. First person to call up Chris Mathis with the keyword, you get the tickets. 888-546-4620, the good, the bad, and the ugly. The final four, Bolts, Bucks, NFL. So much to do between now and 5.30. Here on the Ronnie and... Uh, it's not the Ronnie and T-Crash show. It's the drive. Damn it. There's a dollar in the jar. It's the drive with T-Crash here on your Monday ride home. Up next, a look around Major League Baseball and the real reason why the Lightning are turning it up a notch or two. That's coming up in a matter of moments. You're on the drive with T-Crash. Guys, if you or someone you love has been banged up in an injury accident, you need to call on my guys over at Catania and Catania, the personal injury law firm that's been doing their thing for more than 30 years. They don't get paid unless you get paid. They've been getting a lot of money for their clients over the years, like $500 million plus. That's how much they have successfully recovered for injury victims just like you. So protect your rights. Call them. They are there for you every step of the way. Here's the number. 813-222-8545. That's 813-222-8545. Or hit them up online. Get a free evaluation of your case at Catania and Catania.com. Because over at Catania, Catania, they put families first. Office Tampa, not an attorney spokesman. Today, Tampa Bay Rays baseball is live on WDAE. Deep down the line to the corner. Home run. Don't miss any of the action as the Rays take on the Texas Rangers. Coverage starts at 530. On the home of every Rays game all season long. 95.3 WDAE and AM 620. Streaming across Tampa Bay on the iHeartRadio app. From the Safe Touch Security Traffic Center. WDAE. Traffic update. Earlier vehicle fire on southbound 275 near the Pinellas County side of the Howard Franklin Bridge now clear. Traffic getting back up to speed across the bay. We are seeing big delays, though, on westbound Gandy Boulevard from mid-span on the bridge over to the traffic light near Derby Lane. And we're seeing delays on the westbound Courtney Campbell approaching McMullen Booth and the Bayside. Also seeing delays in Tampa southbound 275 just before I-4. With traffic, I'm Randy Myers. This report is sponsored by eBay motors ebay motors is here for the ride with the parts you need at the prices you want and with ebay guaranteed fit they're guaranteed to fit your ride the first time every time or your money back keep your ride or die alive at ebaymotors.com eligible items only exclusions apply 
Hey, it's Brett from Bull Oak. Are you struggling from erectile dysfunction? We've got a groundbreaking solution that's transformed the lives of thousands of men. Our WAVE technology is backed by 50 clinical studies, including research from prestigious Cambridge University. It revitalizes blood flow by repairing blood vessels all without the need for pills or the worry of side effects. If you're ready to end your erectile dysfunction struggles, call us now. Not only will you get a free assessment and blood flow ultrasound, we're also throwing in your first treatment free on us. That's right. Give us a call and schedule an appointment and we'll get you your first treatment free. This is a $600 value and it's yours free if you call in the next two minutes. Call 813-219-1919. That's 813-219-1919. Guys, it's time to reclaim your love life and put an end to your erectile dysfunction. Call 813-219-1919. Call Bull Oak now to qualify. 813-219-1919. Some people think Taco Bell is only for late night. But if that was the case, it wouldn't be open all day. That'd be horrible management. It's also for daytime, which is why Taco Bell's introducing the new Cantina Chicken menu. With new Cantina Chicken Tacos, Burrito, and Quesadilla, with seasoned slurries to chicken, and even a new Avocado Verde Salsa Packet. You should try it today. Emphasizing that word so you don't forget that it's not just for late night. Introducing the new Cantina Chicken menu, Taco Bell. At participating U.S. Taco Bell locations while supplies last. Contact store for participation with fares. WDAE with What's Up Tampa Bay. Bowl with Crash and AJ at 98 Rocks. Bowling for balls at Pin Chasers on April 13th. For tickets and more info, visit 98rock.com. Join us April 5th through 7th at Armature Works in the Heights District for the WFLA News Channel 8 Outdoors Expo and Boat Show. Admission is free all weekend. Visit WFLA.com slash Outdoors Expo for more details. Stay on top of everything going on at 953WDAE.com. A toast to our new college grad who fills us with so much joy. Almost as much as when we're in our RV. Oh, the world is your oyster, kiddo. And ours, too. Now that we're covered with Progressive, Dad and I can hop in our RV anytime we want. Might even splurge on a retractable awning. Oh, look out. (laughs) Sorry, what was I talking about? Protect your loved one with an RV policy from Progressive. Take as little as four minutes to see what you could save at Progressive.com. Progressive Casualty Insurance Company and Affiliates. Most impact windows from Reese are installed in just six weeks. Check them out. ReeseWindows.com. For more information about contests on this station, go to 953WDAE.com slash rules. From the Cool Today Weather Center, cooltoday.com. We're looking at mostly sunny skies today with a high near 85 degrees. Tonight, mostly cloudy with a low around 67. Mostly sunny tomorrow with a high near 87. And Tuesday night's forecast, mostly cloudy with a low around 72. This report is sponsored by Fresh from Florida. Hey guys, Chef Justin with Fresh from Florida here, reminding you that Fresh from Florida sweet corn is in season now. And for amazing sweet corn recipes, visit FreshFromFlorida.com. Fresh from Florida, there's sunshine in every bite. Stuck in traffic? Signal cutting out? Get online. Download the free iHeartRadio app. You can take WDAE and your home for sports, music, talk, and podcasts all in one app. Free never sounded so good. Presented by the law offices of Anna Jar and Levine, accident attorneys. Call 1 800 747 free. That's 1 800 747 3733. Clay Broad- Broadcasting live from the rude air conditioning studios. We are Tampa Bay's home for sports <laughs> and raise fans around the globe. Over 20 years and counting. 95.3 WDAE and the mighty AM620. He has been the rock, and he's really, you know, he's, I don't know, 10, 15, last 10, 12 games, he's, uh, like, just watch, you know, tonight. And when the Islanders really poured it on there in the second period, he had to make some big-time saves to, uh, <laughs> to give us a lead going into the third period. He sure did. That is lighting head coach John Cooper, and he's talking about Andre Vasilevsky, who has been... On a tear. And that's why this Lightning team, now with 89 points, is starting to rise up the Eastern Conference standings. Only four points behind Toronto now for third place in the Atlantic Division. This is a team that nobody wants to see come playoff time, which, oh, by the way, is right around the corner. Welcome back. It is the drive on your Monday ride home. T. Kras, Tom Kras, Nikki with you. 
Chris Mathis on the other side. You on the phones at 888-546-4620. Text on the Bartow 4 DA text platform at 82945. Brian Anderson will join us at 4 o'clock. The good, the bad, and the ugly at 430. We'll take you up until 530. And then it's Rays baseball tonight on DAE. The Rays are welcoming in the defending world champion Texas Rangers in a rematch of that playoff setting from a year ago in which got the Rangers on the track to championship respectability. I'll never forget that game one. Holy cow, was that awful. That was like the worst game that the Rays have played in recent memory. They committed four errors, and now the the Rays get another shot at the Rangers. Game one of a three-game set tonight with Pepio against Dunning. But what about the Tampa Bay Lightning? Especially Andre Vasilevsky. You know, in the month of March, he was 8-1-1, a goals against average of 2.39 with a shutout in between. He is the real reason why the Lightning are doing what they're doing. Yes, you can point to the deadline acquisitions of Anthony DeClaire and Matt Dumba. They've been outstanding. DeClaire on that line with Point and Kucherov. I mean, you want to talk about a perfect mix. That line is getting it done. They're potent. They're explosive. They can score from anywhere on the ice. Dumba's been outstanding, too. Just steady. When I watch him out there, I see a steady influence. He's not flashy. He comes to work, knows what he's doing, doesn't get caught out of position too often. Good job of back-checking. Vasilevsky seeing improved play right in front of him, and it's paying off in a big way for the Lightning. What about that first period the other night against the Islanders? 21 shots on goal by the Lightning in that first period, and, you know, they were able to overcome an early goal by Palmieri, 225 into it, and then the Lightning took advantage. Their special teams, and I know John Cooper was praising his special teams after the game the other night. They got a power play goal from Darren Radish. That got him going. Sorelli scored two goals. The first goal came late in the first, and then he scored an empty netter later, and then Steven Stamkos, goal number 30, early in the third period, that kind of put that game away, really, for the Lightning. As they outshot the Islanders 40-28, to 28, they held the Islanders to 28 shots on goal. I mean, if the Lightning defense can do that, you know, they're made in the shade. They're going to put themselves in a great position. Vassy had 27 saves. After the Palmieri goal, he completely shut down the Islanders. And then away they went, you know, the Lightning, uh, shaking off that early goal and... I forgot who talked about it after the game, but I think it was Steven Stamkos. I mean, they had the early goal scored against him, and Stammer, that's the first cut there, Chris Mathis. I apologize. Okay, two seconds, pulling it up right now. Where he said, look, you know, if this happened to us two months ago, we would have been down on ourselves a little bit, but the way we're playing hockey now the early goal by the Islanders, it didn't phase us at all. Steven Stamkos liked the way his team handled that tough break going against his team, and the Lightning were able to respond. Here's Stammer. Not obviously the start we wanted, but they, they shoot a puck from the wall. It deflects off a couple guys and goes in. Maybe earlier in the year we get a little dejected, but um, obviously when you're on a roll like we have been, you're playing the right way. You're just sticking to the game plan, and you're executing shift after shift, you know. It begins to, to wear other teams down, and I thought in the first that that was the model uh, for our success. It sure was. 21 shots on goal by the Lightning in that first period. They were outstanding. They had one power play opportunity. They cashed in. They killed off the Islanders' only power play, so special teams obviously played a big part in it. They blocked 17 shots. Yeah, there were, you know, a couple of giveaways that they wanted back. It wasn't the cleanest game from that aspect. But the fact that they shrugged off the early goal, continued to forge ahead, put a lot of pressure on the Islanders. They probably should have had more than four goals in this game. But 4-1 to one ended up being the final score. But the bottom line is this. This Lightning team is the team that we all thought we were getting. 
from before the season. And now they're finally starting to play up to that potential. And they're doing it at the right time because you got nine games to go until the playoffs begin. And this is a dangerous group. Nobody wants to play the Lightning come playoff time. And I mean nobody. The Rangers are sitting there hoping, I hope they don't end up with that first wild card because we don't want to play them. The Florida Panthers or the Boston Bruins, either or, I mean, the Lightning have handled and beaten both of those teams lately. I don't think they want to see the Lightning in the first round. (laughs) Yeah, no doubt. They don't want to see the Lightning. I don't think anybody wants to see the Lightning. They keep going the way they're going and knock on wood. God, please, no more injuries. They've had enough. The Sergachev thing, we've had enough. If they can stay upright, this is a very, very dangerous team come playoff time. You guys agree? 888-546-4620. You can text in your thoughts at 82945. So, the Lightning will welcome in the Detroit Red Wings tonight. The Red Wings are at 80 points. They're fighting for their postseason lives. They've dropped four in a row. So this would be the perfect opportunity. The Lightning can put the wings away for keeps tonight. And wouldn't that be a beautiful thing? The Wings are two points behind the Flyers for that final wild card spot. So they're clinging. They're fighting. They're going to show a sense of urgency here tonight, so the Lightning certainly have to be ready for that tonight down at Amelie Arena. Be the Thunder, Tampa Bay Lightning against the Detroit Red Wings. So a lot of interesting things happening over the weekend between the Rays splitting the four with Toronto and the Lightning kind of doing their thing. And, you know, the final four, we're going to get into that in the good, the bad, and the ugly coming up at 430 because... I hit on a couple of predictions. A couple of predictions did not necessarily go my way. So the good, the bad, and the ugly, we're going to tell you all about that. And also the good, the bad, and the ugly from what we saw over the weekend. And there was a lot in all three categories. A lot of good, some bad, and some downright ugly stuff taking place over the weekend. And you can give us your good and your bad and your ugly. And you can do that through the phone lines or you can text in your thoughts. A lot of people texting in on the Barto 4 DA text platform. Yes, there is no Isak Paredes tonight. John and Largo, the right-hander Dane Dunning is on the mound. And maybe Isak Paredes needs a night off. Heck, two for 15. You know, Hal Ramirez is one for 17 and... You know, the Rays are hoping to try and get those two guys going, but those are two guys that usually feast on left-handed pitching. You got a right-hander and Dunning going tonight for Texas. And, uh, you know, the Rays uh, lineup, and we do have it out. How about Ahmad Rosario? He's in the cleanup spot tonight. What's Kevin Cash doing there? Uh, you know, that's Kevin Cash's way of managing this baseball team. You know, does Eric Neander, does he have a hand in this or what? None yet. So you got Diaz, Lau, Rosa Reina, and then Rosario is in the cleanup spot. Hmm. Richie Palacios is off to a slow start. He's 0 for 5. He's in right field. He's batting fifth. And then Curtis Mead is in the game. He's playing third base. Interesting lineup tonight by the Rays. Uh, series in center field hitting seven. Austin Shenton is at first base. Diaz, by the way, is the DH. So you got Shenton playing the field. He had that one spring training game where he had three errors. Hopefully none tonight. And then Renee Pinto is behind the plate hitting nine. So that's an interesting lineup going up against Dane Dunning, and this is where the Rays are hurt by Josh Lowe being hurt, left-handed bat, Jonathan Aranda being hurt, another left-handed bat that they can desperately use against a right-hander. You know, I saw where the Rays signed Dom Smith, formerly of the Mets. I mean, they're trying to get all kinds of lefties in there if they can. But that's an interesting lineup for the Rays tonight. You know, your top three look outstanding, and then 
your middle three, your four, five, and six, usually the big boppers in your lineup, and it's Rosario, Palacios, and Mead. And then Siri, Shenton, and Pinto. Top three looking good. Bottom six, eh, maybe not so much. It's an interesting lineup that the Rays are putting out there. And then you look at, you know, the lineup that the Texas Rangers have out there. Boy, oh boy. Got some heavy hitters, man. Simeon, Seeger, Evan Carter, Rookie of the Year candidate, Adolis Garcia, DH, Monster, Josh Young at third base, good. Wyatt Langford, Florida Gator, Rookie of the Year candidate. Then Walsh, Jonah Heim, then Janikowski, not Sebastian, playing center field, batting ninth. That's an interesting lineup for the Texas Rangers, too. You're defending champs. Let's go to phones here on the drive. Alex is in Tarpon Springs. Alex, good afternoon, sir. Hey, T. Kraz, great to hear you, and uh, great to see the Rays playing in action over the weekend. I'm so glad it's baseball season. I was going to ask you, because I thought a point of emphasis uh, in spring training um, were your thoughts about a Rosa Reina's, uh added weight and the pounds that he, uh, you know, bulked up. And I know we heard, uh, you know, Brian Anderson and everybody else and, and their opinions about it. You saw in the opening series with regards to base running, fielding, batting. Uh, what were your thoughts about the effect that that added weight had on Randy's game? I'm going to hang up and listen. Go Rays. Go Rays. Thank you, Alex. Always great to hear from you. And I think Randy put on the weight because – he wants to be a 30 home run guy and 30 home run guys get paid a lot of money. Scott Boris is his agent. I think I talked about this dynamic during the spring. And I think there was an adjustment period in getting used to carrying that much more weight. And he looks freaking jacked, by the way. The Rays have a couple of guys, man, between Arosa Reina and Yandi and Rortfett, the backup catcher. I mean, they have like three Mr. Olympians in their freaking lineup. Yeah, talk about the Rays' way, right? They're beefing up a little bit out there. I don't know, man. They're, they're doing something. <laughs> but uh, they they passed the eye test, I can tell you that. But in my opinion, Randy wants to go from 2020 to possibly 3030 if he can. Now, I don't know how many bases he's going to be able to steal, but... I think he should be able to get the 30 home runs. He's got two so far. And I think the whole point, the objective, is to get the 30 home runs because his arbitration number went up to 8.1 million. Next year, it could be 10 plus million. And then as you approach, approach free agency, you know, he's looking to go from making seven figures now to eight figures next year. And then eventually he wants to try and parlay that into a nine-figure salary at some point with Boris calling the shots, who, by the way, didn't do his clients too many favors. He had Blake Snell hold out where he could have had $150 million and he settled for 62 He did the same thing with Jordan Montgomery. That's right. He did the same thing with Jordan Montgomery. Jordan Montgomery signed late with Arizona for one year and twenty five million. Look, one year twenty five million is nothing to sneeze at. But I'm sure Jordan Montgomery, coming off winning the World Series, thought he would probably get a heck of a lot more money in more years, and that didn't materialize because Scott Boris was playing chicken with the other GMs in this league, and I think it kind of backfired on him a little bit. But I think that's where Randy's headed. I want to hit 30 so I can make 10 plus million next year and then eventually get a nine figure contract if possible. Your thoughts? 888 546 8245 here. The drive with T Kraz. Up next, we are witnessing one of the great runs in the history of college basketball, and we appear to be careening towards a collision course between two powerhouses as we are down to the final four. We're going to get into that, plus some NFL news and rumors coming up in a matter of moments. It's The Drive with T. Kraz on your ride home. You're locked in to The Drive with T. Kraz. 
Guys, when it comes to the April birthstone, the gold and diamond source has you covered because their diamonds take center stage, symbolizing love, strength, eternity. Diamonds are a classic choice. First-time diamond buyer with the gold and diamond source's first-time diamond buyer program. They will educate you on the four C's and all the different shapes and styles. Remember, your gold and diamond source diamond will never lose its value. You can always trade up your gold and diamond source diamond for a bigger, better one. Spring clean your jewelry collection and find out how much gold and diamonds, how much your gold and diamonds, rather, are worth today. Also, consider us to maintain and ensure your jewelry. We can professionally clean check settings and make any necessary repairs to keep your jewelry in top condition and don't forget for the gold and diamond sources 40 year anniversary we are celebrating by offering up to 40 percent off on select jewelry items the gold and diamond source has been your trusted jewelry destination for 40 years so check them out 3800 over to Rony clearwater always online at goldendiamond.com make sure to tell them that your boy tom krasnicki sent you on the drive Turn up the excitement. WDAE's Drive with T-Crass, Pat and Aaron, and Jay and Zach are now live, live on, on YouTube. YouTube. Watch WDAE, like the video, and subscribe for an immersive sports talk experience like you've never experienced before. WDAE on YouTube. Like and subscribe. WDAE. Traffic update. Delays in St. Pete on northbound 275 from just north of 375 to Gandhi Boulevard. Also delays southbound from south of Roosevelt. Delays in Tampa northbound 275 near Dale Mabry and on southbound 75 approaching Fletcher Avenue. Westbound I-4, it's a bit slow near 50th Street. Crash being cleared from northbound 301 just north of I-4 before Sly. With traffic, I'm Randy Myers. This report is sponsored by Robert Half. Robert Half Research indicates 9 out of 10 hiring managers are having difficulty hiring. Robert Half is here to help. Their recruiting professionals use proprietary AI to connect businesses with highly skilled talent. At Robert Half, they know talent. Visit roberthalf.com today. QC Kinetics announces the arrival of National Medical Director Dr. Mitchell Scheinkup, an acclaimed orthopedic surgeon with two decades of experience and extensive research in regenerative medicine. But I was one of the first orthopedic surgeons to do it, and at the same time, I integrated clinical research that's resulted in several publications that are really directing the future of regenerative medicine. I was drawn to QC Kinetics after I reviewed their protocols, and everything they were doing is consistent with my my own approach. Today, Dr. Scheinkup leads the entire team of medical professionals at QC Kinetics, taking this exciting medical breakthrough to a whole new level. What we are doing at QC Kinetics is transforming lives. Get lasting joint pain relief. Call QC Kinetics now for your free consultation. This is the future of medicine. Call QC Kinetics 813-305-3000. That's 813-305-3000. Locations in St. Pete, Lakeland, Brandon, Bradenton, and Tampa. 813-305-3000. Join us for our 2024 iHeartRadio Music Awards, live from the Dolby Theater in Hollywood. Tonight, watch on Fox, starting at 8 p.m., and listen on the free iHeartRadio app. Otesla of Trinolast is a proud partner of the iHeartRadio Music Awards, a celebration of artists and the fans who got them there, the fans who make the music truly come alive through their energy and positive vibes. To the fans that make live music possible, we salute you. Ronnie Lane here, joined by the MVP of the Holland Group Retirement Wealth Advisors, co-founder and president, Elizabeth Holland. The one thing I love most about football is the team effort it takes to win a game. All phases of the team have to work together and be at their very very best to get the job done. That's what your team at the Holland Group does every day, right? Your team of advisors, led by Steve and you, puts together comprehensive retirement plans designed to preserve and grow assets while applying tax advantage strategies to make sure your clients keep every single cent they are legally entitled to. That's what I call a win. That's exactly right. And unlike most other financial firms, we do it all under one roof. This is where the Holland Group becomes your X factor and we can design a customized, inflation-adjusted and tax advantage retirement plan. Nobody wins by sitting on the bench, so call the Hollands at 727-469-7939 or visit askthehollands.com. Let's make the rest of your life the best of your life. I'm Mark Anajar. I'm Glenn Levine. I'm Ellie Anajar. And we're Anajar and Levine. Experience the Anajar and Levine difference by calling us with any of your legal needs. Call 1-800-747-FREE for a free consultation and take back control of your life. Main office Tampa. 
Hi, this is Earl Ron, president of New South Window. New South is having a one-day factory sale this Saturday only in our factory showroom. 40% off energy-efficient windows and patio doors. One day only this Saturday from 9 till 4. Please visit us at NewSouthWindow.com. Jake from State Farm. I just beat my running PR, so I'm celebrating. Keep celebrating when you bundle and save with the State Farm personal price plan. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Prices vary by state. Options selected by customer availability and eligibility may vary. Sponsored by Howard Team Homeloans.com. Last season on the Choosing Sides F1 podcast, we established unequivocally that F1 is the pinnacle of motorsports. We did, but honestly, I was left with more questions than answers, Tony. I'm Tony Cameron Brown, a tech, culture, and F1 commentator. And I'm Michael Costa, comedian from The Daily Show. Join us for season two of Choosing Sides F1 and get all of the answers. All of them? All of them. Listen to Choosing Sides F1 on the iHeartRadio app or wherever you get your podcasts. This report is sponsored by Staples Stores. Staples Print Big Sale means the more you print, the more you save. Get $20 off your print purchase of 100 or more, 50 off your print purchase of 200 or more, and 100 off your print purchase of 300 or more. Offer ends 4 6. See staples.com slash print for details. Print more, save more at Staples. We're looking at mostly sunny skies today with a high near 85 degrees. Tonight, mostly cloudy with a low around 67. Mostly sunny tomorrow with a high near 87. And two Tuesday night's forecast, mostly cloudy with a low around 72. Take WDAE with you anywhere you want with a free iHeartRadio app and using your Alexa. Now, back to The Drive with T-Kraz on WDAE. Streaming live on Alexa and the free iHeartRadio app. Connect. Trying to get to the basket again. Stump his ass. That was Zach Eady. Dalton Connect, those two guys went back and forth. What an entertaining game that was as Tennessee was ousted by Purdue. The Boilermakers are in the final four thanks to an incredible performance by the seven foot four inch Zach Eady. Welcome back. It is the drive with T. Kraz on your Monday ride home. Great to have you with us. What are your brackets looking like? You got Purdue against NC State in one semifinal matchup. That is a one against an 11. And then you have the great UConn Huskies looking to repeat for the first time since the Florida Gators did it back in 06 and 07. UConn a one against the high-flying, high-scoring Alabama Crimson Tide in the other semifinal matchup. And it appears, and, you know, I talked about this last week. It's a collision course, folks. We are on a collision course for UConn, Purdue, and that was my final four national championship game prediction before the tournament began, and that's like the only thing I've gotten right. If Purdue and UConn end up meeting in the championship game, and it has to end up being that way, I don't think NC State or Alabama are going to get in the way of that either. They're not. But what about Zach Eady and what he did yesterday? 40 points... 16 rebounds in 39 minutes. And ESPN stats and information had it. I mean, uh, he's the first guy since 1990 to have a 40-point, 15-rebound game in an NCAA tournament setting. I mean, that's that's really hard to do. And I'll tell you what, if that dude could hit his free throws, he might have gone for 50 in that game. Played 39 minutes, Tom. At yeah. his size, that's unreal. No, no, he's he can play. You know, he's not just a big lumbering guy out there. He can run the floor pretty well. You know, he's built well. He's got pretty good footwork down in the paint area. You know, he averaged, uh, you know, 25 points per game. He was a 25 and 12 guy during the regular season. And then against Tennessee, 40 and 16. And again, had he hit his free throw attempts, you know, we're talking about a 50 point game potentially out of Zach Eady, who was. Incredible. He missed eight free throws, so I mean he could have been in that forty five to forty seven range, but forty points is still an incredible game. And look, Dalton Connect, he can score from anywhere on the floor. What a special player. He had thirty seven and you heard that highlight. That was thirty four seconds left. Dalton Connect thought he had a wide open layup. He thought that Zach Eady was gonna give him that bucket. He's like, No, oh no, sir. Yeah, he definitely wagged his finger at him. Not today, man. Return to sender. Big block shot by Edie. 
and Purdue beat Tennessee after they took care of, uh, what's-his-face, Chris Mathis and his Gonzaga basketball team on Friday night. Yeah, I'll own that. You know what? They got knocked out. They looked terrible, too. They got manhandled, so... You know, they they were able to win a couple of games, and that surprised most people, but I did go out on a limb and say they were going to the Final Four. Well, look, I was it's, wrong, Tom. It's I was a, wrong. It's a bold prediction. I mean, they were a five seed, and Mark Few's team is not as good as the ones he had in previous years. So it was a bold pick, and unfortunately, they didn't get there, but a lot of people had UConn against Purdue. I'm one of those people, and it looks like we may very well see. I want to see it, too. How about UConn? A 30 to nothing run after that game was tied at 23 to 23 against Illinois. I mean, I've never seen anything like it. I mean, defensively, offensively, what they were able to do, they just put on a clinic. And again, you know, we asked the question last week, UConn or the field, who would you pick? And, you know, if you picked UConn, I certainly could understand it. But I think Purdue can beat them, provided that Purdue gets by NC State, the Cinderella story, the number 11 seed. And, you know, a lot of people are looking forward to a potential matchup between the big men. Seven foot four, Zach Eady against seven foot two, Donovan Klingen of UConn, the sophomore who's been outstanding this entire tournament. He had 22, 10, and five blocks against Illinois in that 77-52 to 52 win. I mean, they've won, what, 10 games in a row by double digits in the NCAA tournament? They're not only beating teams, but they're bludgeoning teams on their way to the national championship, potentially. 888-546-4620. So this is, uh, could be a great matchup next weekend if it holds the form, if UConn can beat an Alabama team that was – the highest scoring team in the country at 90 points per game during the regular season. And if Purdue can get by NC State, Purdue and UConn would just be an incredible national championship game. We're going to talk about that with the good, the bad, and the ugly coming up at 4.30. Also coming up, Brian Anderson is standing by. We'll talk about the Rays, the weekend that was against Toronto, and the week that will be beginning tonight against the defending champion Texas Rangers. And don't forget... Drive night out tickets. We're going to give that to you coming up in the next segment. You have to be watching the stream for my interview with Brian Anderson because at one point during the interview, I'm going to hold up so you can watch it on the stream, YouTube, Twitch, or Facebook at 953WDAE. Like and subscribe. I'm going to hold up the keyword. And the first person that calls Chris Mathis with the keyword gets a ticket, he gets the tickets to join us in a suite for the Rays-Giants game on Friday, April the 12th. So that's coming up in a matter of moments. Brian Anderson standing by. His thoughts on the Rays so far, and what about Ryan Pepio against this high-powered Rangers lineup? Brian Anderson plus a chance for you to win Rays suite tickets. If you're watching on the stream, that is your, that is coming your way next here on the drive with T Kraz on your Monday ride home. You're tuned in to the drive with T Kraz. Guys, whether it's an injury accident, product liability, or medical malpractice, you got to call on the guys who have been there and done that. My guys over at Catania and Catania. They've been at it more than three decades. They work on a contingency, which means there's no cost to you unless they win. $500 million plus has been recovered by my guys for injury victims just like you. And they're always standing by to take your call, unlike some other law firms. So call them. Tell them I sent you. 813-222-8545. Or get a free evaluation of your case online at Catania and Catania.com. That's 813-222-8545. Because over at Catania, Catania, they put families first. Office Tampa, not an attorney spokesman. 
It's a Tampa Bay tradition unlike any other. Well, sort of. It's back. The Drive Night Out with T-Kraz. Score yourself a pair of tickets to hang out with T-Kraz at the Trop and a Suite at Tropicana Field. And get the VIP treatment. Food, drinks, swag, and so much more as the Rays take on the Giants. Be listening all week to win. Presented by your Tampa Bay Rays and 95.3 WDAE and AM620. Streaming live on Alexa and the free iHeartRadio app. Hey, it's Brett from Bull Oak. Are you struggling from erectile dysfunction? We've got a groundbreaking solution that's transformed the lives of thousands of men. Our WAVE technology is backed by 50 clinical studies, including research from prestigious Cambridge University. It revitalizes blood flow by repairing blood vessels, all without the need for pills or the worry of side effects. If you're ready to end your erectile dysfunction struggles, call us now. Not only will you get a free assessment and blood flow ultrasound, we're also throwing in your first treatment free on us. That's right. Give us a call and schedule an appointment and we'll get you your first treatment free. This is a $600 value and it's yours free if you call in the next two minutes. Call 813-219-1919. That's 813-219-1919. Guys, it's time to reclaim your love life and put an end to your erectile dysfunction. Call 813-219-1919. Call Bull Oak now to qualify. 813-219-1919. Prescriptions require an online consultation with a healthcare provider who will determine if appropriate. Restrictions apply. See website for details and important safety information. Subscription required. Price varies based on product and subscription plan. Hey guys, did you know there's a generic form of Viagra that works just the same but is 95% cheaper? And you can get it online at hymns.com slash joy. Through hymns, you'll get a free medical consultation to determine the ED medication that's best for you. Discreet shipping if prescribed, a 100% online process, and a range of treatment options, including trusted generic alternatives to the name brands at up to 95% off. ED is personal, and at Hims, so is treating it. Just go to hymns.com slash joy and get connected to a licensed medical provider online for free with zero copay, no expensive appointments, and no awkward face-to-face conversations. To start your free online visit, you need to go to this exclusive address, hymns.com slash joy. That's hymns.com slash joy for your free online visit, himscom slash J-O-Y. You wouldn't know it, but most financial advisors are put in a box. I'm Jeff Jr. from Trajan Wealth, and I want to provide you a little insight about financial advisors. Most financial advisors have to sell what their company requires them to sell, and many advisors have to only adhere to what's called a suitability standard. A suitability standard is a limited standard of care, not requiring what's sold to be best, just suitable. Advisors with this loose standard often have limited investment and product selection. Trajan Wealth is held to a fiduciary standard, which is the highest standard of care in the advisory business. And that's just one of the many reasons we have billions of dollars under our care and attract clients from other advisors. Raise your standards today and call Trajan Wealth. Call 813-550-1000. That's 813-550-1000. Advisory services offered through Trajan Wealth, LLC, an SEC-registered investment advisor. In the 90s, New York detective Louis Scarcella locked up the worst criminals. Putting bad guys away. There's no feeling like it. Then jailhouse lawyers took aim, led by Derek Hamilton. Scarcella took me to the precinct and lied. 20 men eventually walked free. Now, in the Burden podcast, after a decade of silence, Louis Scarcella finally tells his story. And so does Derek Hamilton. Listen to The Burden on the iHeartRadio app or wherever you get your podcasts. What's the Anajar Levine difference? When you're injured in a car crash, we focus on your case so you can focus on the one thing that matters most, getting better. I'm Glenn Levine with Anajar Levine. We'll fight to get you the maximum compensation you deserve. Call our legal team right now for a free consultation. 1-800-747-FREE. We'll help you take back control of your life. Call 1-800-747-FREE. That's 1-800-747-3733. Main office, Tampa. It's one thing falling in love with a house, picturing yourself moving in and calling it home, and quite another navigating the world of price negotiating, mortgage lenders, and finding the budget that works best for you. An agent who's a Realtor can make understanding that world easier. Realtors have the expertise, access to proprietary data, and tools to help you get from imagining living somewhere to actually doing it. That's the kind of help we can provide. Because that's who we are. 
Realtors are members of the National Association of Realtors. T. Kranz here for my friends over at Green Tech Roofing and Solar. As a homeowner, I know the importance of having a strong roof over your head, and that's exactly what my guys over at Green Tech Roofing and Solar do. They're the number one roofing solution in the Tampa Bay area, offering free inspections. They offer a wide selection, asphalt shingles, tile, metal roofing options as well. They do residential and commercial. They have over 300 five-star reviews, so check them out. Visit their website, get an accurate assessment, Go to greentechroofing.com. Hey, if you're listening to me right now, I have one thing every business needs most. Attention. Think about it. We swipe and scroll past stuff all day. But when we're driving, cooking, and working out, we're also listening. That's the magic of audio at iHeart. We're in your next customer's ears while they're living life and listening, just like you are right now. So get your customers to listen up today using radio, digital, and podcasts. Visit iHeartAdvertising.com. That's iHeartAdvertising.com. Your home sold in 14 days. Guaranteed at DuncanDuo.com. Running to a meeting or just need to get away? No problem. Download the free iHeartRadio app where you can take WDAE and your home for sports, music, talk, and podcasts all in one app. Free, free. never sounded so good. Presented by the law offices of Anna Jar and Levine, accident attorneys. Call 1 800 747 free. That's 1 800 747 3733. Broadcasting from the Rude Air Conditioning Studios. The home for Bolts Nation as the chase for the Stanley Cup is on. We are 95.3 FM, W237CW, Pendellas Park. And the mighty 620, WDAE, St. Petersburg. Streaming live right now on your free iHeartRadio app. All your sports, music, talk, and podcasts. Hey, Lightning fans, free has never sounded so good. It's Monday, from Plant City to Largo, and all around Tampa Bay, plus worldwide on iHeartRadio. The gloves are off, I'm playing hardball. It's 4th and 15, and you're looking at a full court press. You're tuned into the voice of the Tampa Bay sports fan. You're gonna like this guy, he's alright. He's a good fella, he's one of us. Buckle up. Cause you're on the drive with t Crass. Afternoons on 95.3 WDAE and AM 620. I'd like to think so, yeah. No, I'd like to think so that they've done such a good job for so so long of controlling the zone and getting ahead, and we'll get back to that. Uh, but, yeah, the walks have been a little uncharacteristic. Rays manager Kevin Cash watched his team split against Toronto over the weekend. Walks were an issue yesterday as the Rays dropped one against the Toronto Blue Jays. They ended up splitting a pair, and now they've got to face the defending world champion Texas Rangers who are in town at the Trop tonight, a 6.50 first pitch. Of course, all the action can be heard right here on WDAE, your home for Rays baseball. Good afternoon, Tampa Bay. Welcome back. Hour number two. It is the drive with T. Kraz on your ride home. 888-546-4620. Your calls and texts are coming up. The good, the bad, and the ugly is coming up at the bottom of the hour. We'll take you up until 530, and then we'll turn it over to Ronnie Lane and pass ball as he'll get you ready for game one tonight between the Rays and the Rangers. Ryan Pepio against Dane Dunning, the Florida Gators product. Tonight over at the Trop, a 651st pitch. It's the start of a three-game series between these two teams tonight, tomorrow night, and then Wednesday afternoon. So we are efforting Brian Anderson and... <laughs> He is going to be with us in a matter of moments once we get him through security. Security! That, that's usually Neil Solon's job. Yeah, I'm sure he's looking for Neil at the Trop right now. Well, he should be. Neil's always looking for me. And Brian Anderson is getting through security as we speak. Once he gets through security, we'll give him a call. And don't forget, you better hop on the video stream right now and watch us, whether it's through YouTube TV, Facebook, or Twitch, 953-WDAE, like and subscribe, because I'm going to be holding up a keyword, and yes, it's on a cue card, and if you call at 888-546-4620 and tell Chris Mathis what the keyword is, you're going to win a pair of tickets 
for our first installment of the Drive Night Out. It's a pair of tickets to join yours truly in a suite for a Rays game. The Rays will play the Giants on Friday, uh, April the 12th over at the Trop. It's a Friday night. It's Randy Land night. The, the, the Rays will wear the Devil Rays uniforms. So it's a great way to kick off your weekend. We're going to give away a pair of tickets each and every day this week. So at some point, and you have to be watching on the video stream right now, so get on the stream and watch because I'm going to hold up a cue card that has the keyword on it. And the first person to call Chris Mathis and relay what that keyword is, you get the sweet tickets. That's how it works. All right, let's go to Tropicana Field right now on the Central Florida Behavioral Health Network DA hotline. Learn more at CFBHN.org. Former big leaguer, our guy, Rays TV analyst Brian Anderson is with us here. He'll be on the call tonight for the Rays Rangers game, and he joins us here on the drive with T Kraz. What's going on, BA? Did you get through security all right? <laughs> yes, I did. Unscathed. Um, yes, it was it was a smooth uh, trip through security. Just unfortunately, it was right when the phone was popping off. Well, speaking of security, I mean, Genesis Cabrera, I mean, they should have called security on him for that little scuffle that he had with Jose Caballero. What, what did you see there? I mean, come on. Uh, well, I saw a pitcher that had his feelings hurt uh, <laughs> is what I saw. I saw Caballero put down a, a really good bunt and, and the play, you know, doesn't end up getting made. He comes all the way around and, you know, Cabrera's upset that he was bunt on for a hit. It's going to cost him a run. And so, you know, he just, he acted out. And, you know, listen, you talk to people, you know, he started within the Rays organization. Yep. Uh, and when you talk to people around the organization, there were some incidents like that with him in the minor leagues. So this is nothing out of the ordinary for him. Uh, so it was actually really interesting, though. I, you know, I, I assumed, and I think I said on the broadcast, that they ejected him because I read John Schneider's lips. You know, they never told us. And there was never any re report we, you, until later. I think the, the Blue Jays actually tweeted it out that he had gotten thrown out of the game. But I read John Schneider's lips at the very end when he was having this little one-on-one -on -one with the, uh, the umpire. And he said, okay, he's out. And I'm like, okay, yeah. So then he's just confirming that he's been thrown out of the game. So you kind of knew that. And then found it really interesting that Major League Baseball, and they did it w with the Mets – and Brewers, too, with the Reese Hoskins incident, that over the weekend, they came right out and said, that's it, buddy, you, you know, you're suspended for three games. And the other guy with, uh, with the Mets got suspended also. Usually that's something that they wait until, you know, the first of the week, like something like today, may, it may come out. But they jumped on that right away, and I think they're sending a message. We're not putting up with any nonsense. I like it. Uh, I like the heavy-handed stuff because, you know, you need to get in front of this so these guys – will think twice before they do something really silly and dumb out there the way Mr. Cabrera did over the weekend. All right, let's talk about the Rays. They split the four-game set, some good, some bad, and some ugly, and that's coming up at 4.30. But let's talk about the good, and really for me, it's how Zach Littell looked, even though he ran a couple of deep counts, really got through it unscathed. I thought Aaron Savali pitched a heck of a game as well. If those two guys can really be consistent about things, B.A., I think the Rays are going to be just fine. Yeah, I completely agree. I, I think that, you know, that Zach Eflin over the long haul is uh, is going to put up really good numbers. I mean, we saw what he did a season ago. So it comes down to what are you going to get out of uh, Aaron Savali? Are you going to get the Cleveland version or, you know, the, the version that, that the, the Rays got last year where you saw some good and some not so good and the, the kiss consistency just wasn't there. But I'll tell you this, he finished spring training really strong. And so I was optimistic going in when you feel, finish spring training like that. And it's a guy who's had success in the past. You're like, you know what? This sets up well uh, for him to get off to a good start. And then to be able to do that against a dangerous Toronto team, a division team, I think that that bodes well uh, for the Rays and obviously instills a lot of confidence in him. And Zach Littell, he's just picking where he left off last year. You know, his, the, the, the end of last year when he finally got into the rotation and, you know, I think it was the end of July where he finally had a five-inning outing. And from that point on, he averaged almost six innings a start, an ERA in the low threes, and then picked it right up in spring training and was fantastic. He keeps things simple. He pounds the zone. He relies on his defense. He can get the strikeout, you know, when he needs to. Uh, he's, he's a super impressive guy. I mean, he's just a no-nonsense, no frills. I'm out there to, to, to fight you every five days. And so I love, uh, love what he did, too. Couldn't agree more. 
Rays TV analyst Brian Anderson is with me here on The Drive with T-Kraz. The Rays and the Rangers tonight at some point in the next few seconds. I'm going to be holding up the cue card with the keyword. And if you call Chris Mathis, you'll get the sweet night tickets for the Rays and the Giants on April the 12th. Let's talk about some more positives. Yandy Diaz, I mean, this guy's a well-oiled machine, B.A. He picked up where he left off last year. He's hitting three he He's got five RBI. And the bulked-up Randy Rosarina also hitting three fifty seven. The home run he hit the other way over the weekend, that was super impressive. Yeah, and he had two. You know, he had one to straightaway right field. Um, and then the next ball game, or, or, or within that series, obviously, he hits one deep out into right center field. That's something that he has been working on, that in batting practice, that he has actually been letting pitches and BP travel to try to, you know, to try to hit the ball the other way. Anytime you're able to hit the ball the other way and just to tie in Yandy Diaz, that's what makes him so successful. And that's why he has such a healthy average every year, because not only does he have good strike zone discipline, but he uses the whole field. And when you use the whole field, you are going to find safe areas. You're, you're not going to hit it into the teeth of the defense. They have to play you kind of straight up. So getting back to Randy, you know, that's something that he's been working on. And then with, you know, the bulk, we talked about this during spring. You just wondered, is it going to affect, affect the athleticism, um, you know, the quick twitch, all of the things that he needs to be successful. And so far, it doesn't look like it has. And I thought it was really interesting with him, too, because in, in one of those games, uh, he struck out in the first inning. We always talk about with Randy that when he is direct and compact, with his swing, direct to the baseball, compact swing, that's when he goes on a run like he did in the 2020, uh, really the, the entire playoffs. When he gets a little bit long with his swing, when he's you know, when he's setting up with his load and his hands push directly to the baseball, that's when he's at his best. When they push away from his body, the swing gets a little bit long, and that's where he can get into a, some slumps. Well, in the first at-bat of one of those games, he did. The swing got long. It got out around the baseball. The baseball beat him. He struck out. But he made the immediate adjustment. He made the immediate adjustment, and it paid off in a home run the other way uh, later in that ball game. And that's what you love to see is to realize, hey, I got a little long there. I need to comp, you know, shorten back up, get more compact, and trust that my added size and strength is going to allow that ball to jump off the barrel, which is exactly what we saw happen. By the way, speaking of added size and strength, I mean, if you were going to put together a six-man tag team in professional wrestling, Give me Yandy Diaz, Randy Rosarena, and your boy Ben Wardfett, the backup catcher. Holy yeah. cow, man. We, we got ourselves like a Mr. Olympian team on this, on this squad right now. Well, let, let me tell you something. Uh, yeah, there's no question between those three. And I actually ran into Ben Rortvet in the uh, tunnel after the game yesterday. And there, there, was boy, there actual yes. room in the tunnel for you to get by? or <laughs> I, had to, I had to walk sideways. But he is a big boy. I mean, he is a stout, uh, just really, really strong guy. And, you know, we've seen the pictures of him, uh, you know, of, of his kind of build. And to that end, by the way, I am so excited tonight when I get home from the game. I had a buddy fly down from Cincinnati when the Royal Rumble was in town here. And I hadn't paid attention to professional wrestling since Macho Man Savage. Well, however, he stayed with me over the weekend. He got me hooked. And so now I'm all in. So I'm excited for tonight's game. I'm excited for a Rays victory. I'm excited to go home and flip on my taped Monday Night Raw. Let's go. Oh, yeah, yeah. Macho Man is here. <laughs> Coming to the drop. The cream will hey. rise to the top. Yeah. That was actually really good. And, I, by the way, I am not below going on to, uh, or I should say above, going on to YouTube and watching some old Randy Macho oh, Man Savage interviews because they're dude, classic. His, his promos were great. The, the cup of coffee with <laughs> the cup of coffee. This is Ricky the Dragon Steamboat's cup of coffee in the big time. Cup of coffee, yeah, because he's never going to get another shot at the title. Yeah. Brian, Dude, you worked on that. That I, is outstanding. Good I, for you. I, thank you, B.A. I was a huge Macho Man fan like yourself back in the day. Wrestling back in the 80s, man, there was nothing like it between he and Hulk Hogan and Hogan against Piper. I mean, that's when wrestling was in their heyday, bro. Yeah, oh, 100%. And, and that's li literally when I fell away from it. 
<laughs> I didn't watch any of it. And then and now I've got my eight and five year old Harper and and uh, and little Baker James. I mean, Harper loves Becky Lynch. She just found out that Becky Lynch is married to Seth Rollins in real life. So she's just beyond, you know, whatever. And my little guy is a, a Cody crybaby. He loves Cody Rose and, <laughs> and the Rock's not a good guy. So they're they're they have gotten into it, too. And and, you know, when they when they come over to the house, they uh, they're always asking, did you tape uh, Friday Night Smackdown? Can we watch it? I mean, it's it's a blast. <laughs> It sure is. And B.A. will be on the call tonight for the Rays and the Rangers. All right. We usually do like big deal or no deal on a Monday. So big deal or no deal. Harold Ramirez, one for 17. Isak Paredes, two for 15. What do you think? I, at this point, it's not a big deal to me at all. I, I think that, listen, Harold Ramirez, his approach at the plate is too, it's too fine. It's too technically and fundamentally sound for him to stay down for too long because this is a guy, two things. He prides himself on putting the ball in play, you know, not striking out, getting the barrel to the baseball. He will shorten his swing as well as anybody with two strikes most of the time. Sometimes he gets a little big. All hitters do. But he does a good job of really shortening with two strikes, and he tries to use the middle of the field. And that goes back to what we were saying about with Randy Rosarena and with um, uh, with Yandy Diaz, using the whole field. You use the whole field because you stay through the middle of the field. That that's where it starts, and that allows you then to spray the ball around. And so Harold is thinking through the middle, get the bat on the ball. That's going to turn into hits before too long. I mean, this guy has rolled into Tampa uh, as a Ray and and done nothing but hit 300 or above. So it, it's going to come around. And Isak, same thing. Now listen, Isak is a little bit more. Uh, you know, when you think about him, he's got 54 career home runs mm -hmm. spread out over what the last four seasons. 31 last year, 20, I think, the year before, somewhere in that range. Regardless, they've all been to left field. So when you have a guy who has good power, 31 homers last year, but it's it's every single home run he's hit in the big leagues is to left field, they are going to come up with a game plan to try to force him to hit the ball the other way, something that he doesn't do a lot of. And that makes you a little bit more pitchable if, if, you're, if you're so one-dimensional with where you hit the ball. Now, to combat that, what, what Isak does is if you watch his setup, his, his back foot, his right uh, leg is in the back corner of the batter's box closest to home plate. He starts with an open stance, but if you just watch how he starts to close down his stance as the pitch is being delivered, he is right on top of the plate. So that's how he tries to combat that by saying, I'm going to get close enough to the plate that even the pitch away, I can pull it. Um, but, yeah, I'm, I'm not worried about him either because, you know, he's not going to be a huge high average guy because he doesn't spray the ball all over the field. But I think you're going to see the, 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 the power come around. That's not flukish when you, you know, you get your first opportunity a couple of years ago and you go 20. And then last year you become the guy and you go 31. I, that's not going to disappear overnight. The defending champion Rangers are in town. You got Ryan Pepio on the mound. We saw some dominant outings out of the youngster. They got him in the Tyler Glass now trade. So what can we expect tonight, Pepio, against this high-power Rangers lineup? I'm looking forward to it. Oh, absolutely. It's going to be a great test. It's going to be a great test for him. It's going to be a great test for the Rays because this is the team that rolled in last year, limping here from Seattle after getting beat one nothing that cost them a division title, and then they go on a run and win the World Series. Don't lose a playoff game on the road, 11-0. and Pretty impressive. So they've got that high-powered offense. They led you know, the American League in just about every meaningful category last year, but you got a guy on the mound who, again, he fits the mold. You know, he last year with the Dodgers in, you know, 44, 45 innings, whatever it was, he only walked five hitters. And that was the thing with him before. He had a little bit of a crossfire to his delivery. So at times he would lose command. And that was really the only knock on him because the pitches were good, but command sometimes would be fleeting. He really got that under control last year. Limited sample size, but still five walks in 44 innings is a good sign. Pitched well in spring, um, and so he's going to attack the, the zone with a, a mid-90s fastball. He's got a, a slider that's become a lot more powerful. In fact, he averages right around 89 miles an hour with his slider. And then he's got a true put-away changeup. He's got a changeup that he has excellent arm action. I mean, you if you just watch him, and that's the whole key to that pitch. And there's a million different grips for a changeup, but the, the, the selling point of that pitch is to let the grip do the work, and you have arm motion like you're throwing a four-seam fastball. And, and all the changeup is is, you know, your index finger and your middle finger 
find a way to get those two fingers out from behind the baseball. Do you split it? Do you throw a circle change? Whatever it is, get those power fingers out from behind the baseball and have that grip that's not going to allow you to throw it with as much velocity as a fastball and then think that you're throwing a four-seam fastball. You do that, you're going to have a really good changeup, and he does. And it's got a lot of fade action to it. It's got a lot of sinking action to it. And uh, he'll get a lot of swing and miss uh, on that pitch over the course of the season. So he's got some good weapons. Um, and, and just like we talked to Zach Hotel, he's not afraid to go out there and go right after you. Well, I love it. Uh, he's going to be fearless against a lineup that's very good from top to bottom. It's the Rays and the Rangers to kick off a three-game set at the Trop tonight. Brian Anderson will be on the call on Bally Sports opposite our guy, Dwayne Stats. B.A., Always a pleasure on this Monday. Go get him tonight. We'll talk to you later on. Yes, we'll do. Absolutely. Have a great night yourself and uh, see you in a week. You got it. All right. That's Brian Anderson, our guy. Oh, yeah. Brian Anderson. Yeah. The cream will rise to the top. Yeah. Uh, we do have a winner. And if you were watching on the Facebook live stream, I held up a cue card, and I want to thank John Momola because he came up with this idea, and I thought it was an innovative idea to give away. Look, these are really good tickets. These are sweet tickets for the Rays and the Giants. On Friday, April the 12th, you can join yours truly. Chris Mathis, he's going to be in the suite too. Drive night out tickets is what we're calling it this year. So one Friday home game every month. Like we've done in the past, we're going to give away sweet tickets. We'll give another way, another pair away tomorrow, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, the rest of the week. So if you didn't win today, and congratulations, Erin in Holiday. Okay, she yeah, she was at the Hard Rock. Yeah, she was sitting. She was sitting to your right, right uh, in front of you guys, and she was sitting with her husband. They were smoking on a cigar. Uh, at least he was. Yeah. All right. Very good. So Erin was watching the Facebook stream and. She saw the words. Uh, what was it again? Slap dick prospect. <laughs> uh, yes, that was the cue card that I held up. Aaron saw it. She called in. She was the first correct caller, and she gets the sweet ticket. So, Aaron and Holiday, I look forward to seeing you at the Rays Giants game on April the 12th. Don't forget, another pair tomorrow. We're going to give away a pair every day this week here on the show to join us in a suite. For that Rays Giants game on Friday, April the 12th. That's going to be epic. 8 at 8, 5, 4, 6, 4, 6, 20. All right, coming up. A lot happened over the weekend. I hit on some predictions. Ew, some, eh. There was some good, there was some bad, and there was some ugliness taking place over the weekend. And I'm going to have that for you coming your way next. It's the drive with T Kraz on your ride home on a Monday. Lock the preset. You're on the drive with T Kraz. Guys, don't be like Rasheed Rice. You know, you're riding around, you get into an accident, you walk away from an accident, you know, with people injured. If you happen to be injured in an accident as a result of somebody else's negligence, call my guys over at Catania Catania because they've been doing this 30 years. They're tenacious, they're experienced, and they have a proven track record of success. $500 million plus has been recovered for injury victims just like you over the years. They work on a contingency, which means they don't get paid Unless you get paid. So give them a call. Protect your rights. Catania, Catania. 813-222-8545. That's 813-222-8545. Or hit them up online. Get that free evaluation of your case at Catania and Catania.com. Because over at Catania, Catania, they put families first. Office Tampa, I'm not an attorney spokesman. Oh, the day-to-day -day grind, the meetings, the pressures, the constant stop and start on the bridge. Ever just catch yourself saying, I gotta get away? Well, here's your chance, big guy. It's Goon's Getaway at Tropicana Field. Tune in all week to the Pat and Aaron Show for your shot at winning tickets to the Rays and Angels. And escape the noise of the day-to-day -day with the Goon Squad. Presented by your Tampa Bay Rays and the Goons on 95.3 WDAE and AM620. Streaming live on Alexa and the free iHeartRadio app. WDAE. Traffic update. Wreck on northbound 275 before Gandy Boulevard off on the right-hand shoulder. Traffic jammed up from 22nd Avenue North. Also, we're seeing delays in Tampa northbound 275 from before West Shore towards I-4. Crash being cleared on westbound MLK near Parsons. Also, northbound 301 near Sly and 50th Street near Adamo Drive. Crash in Pinellas Park on northbound US-19 before 54th Avenue North. With traffic, I'm Randy Myers. This report is sponsored by Allstate. 
Some people just know the best rate for you is a rate based on you with Allstate, not one based on anyone else. So if you drive safely, you could save money. Good to know. Visit Allstate.com or call for a quote today. My ride smells just right, just right, just right, just right. Y'all gotta try that for Bree's car. Just right, just right, just right, just right. La, 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 la. Wake up for 40 days of consistency. All over Bree's car clips right on your face. You know my car is my happy place. Keep a smile on my face. When it smells just right, just right. At International Diamond Center, you can take your time and design and meticulously create the most unique, most exquisite ring imaginable. But if that's not your thing, we understand. And that's why we created the IDC Signature Collection. Ready to wear rings at every price point. It's a complete ring that's already done. We pick out the small diamonds and we pick out the center diamond and it's assembled and it gets our stamp of approval. IDC owner Keith LeClaire. People like this because of the value that they're receiving because they're getting a complete ring without having to piece it together themselves. Even if your budget is $1,000, IDC has a ring you can take with you today with a quality stylish setting and a GIA certified diamond. We did all the hard work for you. Listen, we're the experts. And our job is to pick the right diamond for the right setting at the right price point. And I think we do a pretty good job of it. Discover the No Stress IDC Signature Collection. Buy it today. Propose with it tonight. International Diamond Center. Tampa, Clearwater, Lakeland, and Sarasota. And online at shopidc.com. Hey, it's Brett from Bull Oak. Are you struggling from erectile dysfunction? We've got a groundbreaking solution that's transformed the lives of thousands of men. Our WAVE technology is backed by 50 clinical studies, including research from prestigious Cambridge University. It revitalizes blood flow by repairing blood vessels all without the need for pills or the worry of side effects. If you're ready to end your erectile dysfunction struggles, call us now. Not only will you get a free assessment and blood flow ultrasound, we're also throwing in your first treatment free on us. That's right. Give us a call and schedule an appointment and we'll get you your first treatment free. This is a $600 value and it's yours free if you call in the next two minutes. Call 813-219-1919. That's 813-219-1919. Guys, it's time to reclaim your love life and put an end to your erectile dysfunction. Call 813-219-1919. Call Bull Oak now to qualify. 813-219-1919. If you think Taco Bell is only for late night, you are mistaken. Taco Bell is also for daytime, which is why it's introducing the new Cantina Chicken Menu with new Cantina Chicken Tacos, Burrito, and Quesadilla. And new ingredients like seasoned slow-roasted chicken, freshly prepared pico de gallo, shredded purple cabbage, and even a new avocado verde salsa packet. It's the Taco Bell for when it's not late night. Whoa, not just late night. Try the new Cantina Chicken Menu now. The participating U.S. Taco Bell locations was supplies last. Contact store for participation with fairs. Free iHeart Radio app has over 100 commercial free stations waiting for you to explore right now. Like Alt 2K. Don't wanna be an American idiot. A commercial free look back to alternative from the 2000s. We Foo Fighters, Weezer, Linkin Park, Green Day, the Red Hot Chili Peppers, and more. Just open the free iHeart Radio app, search Alt 2K, and listen now. iHeart Radio, free never sounded so good. iHeart Radio. From the Cool Today Weather Center, cooltoday.com. We're looking at mostly sunny skies today with a high near 85 degrees. Tonight, mostly cloudy with a low around 67. Mostly sunny tomorrow with a high near 87. And Tuesday night's forecast, mostly cloudy with a low around 72. This report is sponsored by eBay Motors. eBay Motors is here for the ride with the parts you need at the prices you want. And with eBay Guaranteed Fit, they're guaranteed to fit your ride the first time, every time, or your money back. Keep your ride or die alive at ebaymotors.com. Eligible items only. Exclusions apply. When you can't crank up the speakers in the office, plug in those earbuds and download the free iHeartRadio app. You can take WDAE and your home for sports, music, talk, and podcasts all in one app. Free never sounded so good. Presented by the law offices of Anna Jar and Levine, accident attorneys. Call 1-800-747-FREE. That's 1-800-747-3733. 
Broadcasting live from the Rude Air Conditioning Studios, we are Tampa Bay's home for sports and Pulse Nation for over 20 years and counting. 95.3 WDAE and the mighty AM620. The good, the bad, the ugly. On the drive with t Kraz. the good. All right, the good from over the weekend. Welcome back. It's the drive with your boy t Kraz here. Great to have you with us on your Monday ride home. Look, I have Purdue and UConn being in the national championship game. We appear to be on that collision course. I have Purdue disposing of Mathis's Gonzaga team. They did so on Friday. I had Purdue beating Ronnie's Vols. They did that yesterday. What an epic game that was. Zach Eady with a 40-point game. So he was outstanding. UConn going on a 30 to nothing run. That was that wasn't just good. That was just stupid. That was stupendous on the part of the UConn Huskies. But it appears my UConn versus Purdue pr- prediction could very well be on the way to materializing unless Alabama and or NC State have something to say about it. The Lightning staying hot, good. Vasilevsky, he's good. He looks comfortable. He's seeing the puck. The Lightning with 21 shots in the opening period on Saturday as they beat the Islanders. This is a team that nobody wants to play. And the Red Wings, you're next tonight at Amelie Arena. You're going to get a beaten tonight at the hands of the Tampa Bay Lightning. Also good, Randy Arena. And Yandy Diaz are both off to good starts. They're hitting 357. Aaron Savali and Zach Littell also doing well so far. So that is the good of what took place over the weekend. The bad. All right, bad is I had three number one seeds getting to the final four. And obviously we know that that's not going to happen. We have two ones in Purdue and UConn. We have a four in Alabama. We have an 11 in NC State. So that didn't necessarily work out. The Rays opener strategy yesterday, also pretty bad. Also bad, Harold Ramirez. He's off to a one for 17 start. Uh, Isak Paredes is off to a two for 15 start for Kevin Cash's group. Even though you mother everything we do. Not everything. I mean, we got to call it for what it is. I mean, those two guys are really struggling so far and we know about Zach Eflin and his struggles so far with the opener I think he's going to be better than that moving forward but there you have some of the bad stuff that took place over the weekend the ugly ugly oh come on it's 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 a clown show around here it, it really is um the ugliness is you know Not being able to deliver on some of these Final Four picks, and I take responsibility for that. Uh, What was also ugly over the weekend is Chiefs wide receiver Rasheed Rice leaving the scene of an accident. Drag racing, it's all caught on video, and now apparently he's retained some lawyers to help him out in that said car accident. Uh, Cam Sutton turned himself in to Hillsborough County authorities over the weekend, too. The former Lions defensive back, the Lions, cut his ass once they found out that he was being charged with felony domestic violence in an incident that took place in the Lutz area within the confines of Hillsborough County. But again, Cam Sutton turning himself in. And you want to talk about punks. What about Genesis Cabrera? The three-game suspension for shoving our guy, Jose Caballero, in that game on Saturday. He was suspended today, by the way, Cabrera, for three games. And he should have been suspended for three games. Punk ass fool. Come on, man. Give me a break. Are you professional or not? Not. He's not professional. That's the whole point. So there you have it. The hilarity that is the good, the bad, and the ugly here on the drive with T-Kraz. And, of course, you have your good and your bad and your ugly. You can call in at 888-546-4620. You can also text in your thoughts on the Bartow Ford DA text platform at 82945. Uh, the good, Mark from Oldsmar, uh, my macho man impression. The bad, no more cowboy hat. The ugly, that background soundtrack. Of course, it's supposed to be for ugly because it's a clown show. Ugly. <laughs> Ugly things that took place over the weekend. It was like 
you know, what was I thinking type of ugly too. What was I thinking? Sometimes I think, and that's a problem too. But there you have it. The good, the bad, and the ugly. Uh, Dolan, our guy, the Bolts, clipping the wings tonight. Not getting too high, though. This hockey team needs to keep getting getting after. And yes, the, you know, the Lightning have nine games to go until the playoffs, and hopefully they can stay grounded, not get too complacent. And look, the big key for me is Vasilevsky staying upright. Knock on wood. You know, the back procedure, I had some concern about that. And maybe that you can put that into the ugly category. I was concerned about the back procedure with Vasilevsky. Anytime, man, they work on your back. I know it was a micro disectomy or whatever the hell it's called. But it looks like Vasilevsky has found himself. He's seen the puck really well. He only faced 28 shots on Saturday in the win over the Islanders. And, you know, the first goal was a little flukish. The goal by Palmieri. But you know what? It didn't phase him. It didn't phase the Lightning either. Because the Lightning went on to fire 21 shots on goal in that opening period on their way to 40 for the game. And they ended up dumping the Islanders 4-1. to one. And now the Red Wings are up next tonight at Amelie Arena. So we got a great sports night on a Monday here on April the 1st, April Fool's Day, which, by the way, is a farce. That's ugly, too, by the way. April Fool's Day. It's ugly. It's stupid. People are doing that? Are you juvenile? Are you professional or not? Come on. Are you professional or not? Not. Is that a problem? It is a problem because I see people online. <laughs> I'm not going to call out specific people because I like some of the people that I'm seeing these April Fool's Day jokes. I think what it was is it was more so they wanted attention. And, hey, look, we're unfortunately talking about it. But it is annoying because I clicked on it. And there was one in particular that I saw. Again, not going to call any names. I love the person who put this out there. But it's like, all right, come on. This joke's a little old. I just don't like. A April Fool's Day is, is so played. Now, if you're like in primary school or elementary school, okay, one thing. But come on, we're grown adults. We're grown adults here. I mean, what are we doing? If you're still out there, if you're on Twitter or X and you're putting out something stupid... Uh, you know, like the Bucks are signing somebody, which is not realistic. Bossy, bossy. No, not you, Devin White. We're definitely not saying anything about you. You're a Philadelphia Eagle. And I don't think you know what you're in for up there, by the way. But you're about to find out. Right, Todd Bowles? You know, huh? Yeah, uh, that's right. We'll take you up until 530 and then right it in here. He's got, uh, you know, a wild pitch coming up as the Rays get ready to take on the Texas Rangers. Speaking of the Bucks, speaking of the NFL, uh, the NFL draft is three and a half weeks away. The latest news and rumors, who's looking to move up? Who's looking to trade down? We've got the latest and greatest from the NFL coming your way next here on The Drive with T-Kraz on your Monday ride home. Lock the preset. You're on The Drive with T-Kraz. Guys, with the summer right around the corner, you want to be able to dive into the summer thanks to my guys over at Pool Perfection. They just opened their second location right there in Lutz, just a couple of miles west of the Tampa Premium Outlet Mall. They also have one on the Pinellas side of Largo. Shy, the owner is awesome. They are Tampa Bay's most trusted pool builder, Pool Perfection. Check out their website. It is awesome at poolperfection.com. Go on their website. See all their beautiful work for yourself. That's what they do over at Pool Perfection. They will build your pool in weeks not months. So if you're in the market for a new pool or a pool remodel, call Pool Perfection. Tell them that you heard about it on the radio from your guy T. Kraz here on The Drive. 727-518-POOL. That's 727-518-POOL. Go see all their five-star Google reviews, by the way, online. Pool Perfection, Tampa Bay's most trusted pool builder. Summer's right around the corner. Get on it with my guys over at Pool Perfection. Tell them you heard about it on the radio from your guy T. Kraz. 
players seen all around Tampa Bay, and they love Tampa Bay sports. 43. You can't miss them. Just look for the life of the party, along with a guy with a suit and colorful shoes. Tune into Jay and Zach for the hottest takes, the deepest analysis, and banter on everything Bucks, Lightning, Rays, and more. Hear them weekdays noon to 3 on 95.3 WDAE and AM620. Streaming on the free iHeartRadio app. WDAE. Traffic update. Crashed in St. Pete on northbound 275 just before Gandy Boulevard. It's off on the right-hand shoulder and delays from 22nd Avenue North. Also, we're seeing delays on southbound 275 just before the Skyway Toll Plaza in St. Pete. Eastbound I-4 slowing down just a bit near I-75 and northbound 75 slow near State Road 60. Northbound 275 slow from State Road 60 and West Shore towards I-4. With traffic, I'm Randy Myers. This report is sponsored by Fresh from Florida. Hey guys, Chef Justin with Fresh from Florida here, reminding you that Fresh from Florida sweet corn is in season now. And for amazing sweet corn recipes, visit FreshFromFlorida.com. Fresh from Florida, there's sunshine in every bite. You know International Diamond Center is the best place to buy diamonds and fine jewelry. But did you also know IDC will buy from you? Diamonds, heirloom jewelry, estate jewelry, Swiss watches, coins. Don't be afraid to come in and get a price on something that maybe it's an heirloom that you want to sell or you're just checking to see the price. IDC owner Keith LeClaire has a vast network of collectors and buyers around the world so IDC can always find a market for your jewelry. We always pay a very strong price to buy. There's a resale market that's there and we pay top dollar for top merchandise. We have people all over the world that we sell to. So some collectors are going to pay way more than any consumer is going to pay. We'll give you the best possible price, no games played, and you'll get the check or the cash, whatever one you want. Let IDC appraise what's in your jewelry box. You might get a pleasant surprise. Sometimes they come in, they have no idea what's there, and then all of a sudden they walk out with a $28,000 check. International Diamond Center, online at shopidc.com. By now, you've heard all of our ads. America's largest injury law firm. It means that when you hire us, you get a legal army. When it comes to law, size matters. Morgan & Morgan. Visit ForThePeople.com for an office near you. Ronnie Lane here, joined by the MVP of the Holland Group Retirement Wealth Advisors, co-founder and president, Elizabeth Holland. The one thing I love most about football is the team effort it takes to win a game. All phases of the team have to work together and be at their very best to get the job done. That's what your team at the Holland Group does every day, right? Your team of advisors, led by Steve and you, puts together comprehensive retirement plans designed to preserve and grow assets while applying tax advantage strategies to make sure your clients keep every single cent they are legally entitled to. That's what I call a win. That's exactly right. And unlike most other financial firms, we do it all under one roof. This is where the Holland Group becomes your X factor and we can design a customized inflation adjusted and tax advantage retirement plan. Nobody wins by sitting on the bench. So call the Hollands at 727 7939 or visit askthehollands.com. Let's make the rest of your life the best of your life. Need life insurance but have diabetes, high blood pressure, or on anxiety meds? If you're a 50-year-old male, even porky, or with type 2 diabetes, a million dollars of life insurance may only cost you about 200 bucks a month. For affordable term life insurance, call Term Provider and speak with Big Lou at 800-444-2013. 800-444-2013 or visit biglou.com. Remember, Big Lou's like you. He's on meds, too. 800-444-2013. When something happens to your car, you might say, Well, that's just great. Oh, perfect. Awesome. How nice for me. But what you really need to say is, Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there to help you file your claim. State Farm, Bloomington, Illinois. If you're the victim of a car crash, never rush to settle with the insurance companies and never settle for just any attorney. Demand Anna Jar Levine. Call 1-800-747-FREE for a free consultation and take back control of your life. Main office, Tampa. When you enter a place of business, you're owed a legal duty that the place of business is safe for you to shop in. I'm John Morgan of Morgan & Morgan. If you suffered an injury at a place of business, our duty is to protect you after that harm. Morgan & Morgan, for the people. Com. Most impact windows from Reese are installed in just six weeks. Check them out, ReeseWindows.com. Trajan Wealth, your trusted local fiduciary advisors. Visit TrajanWealth.com. This report is sponsored by Blue Stream Fiber. HOA and condo board members, it pays.
pays to have fiber. Let Bluestream Fiber show you how fiber internet provides revenue for communities while saving up to 50% off retail rates. Visit bluestreamfiber.com slash radio to find out more. We're looking at mostly sunny skies today with a high near 85 degrees. Tonight, mostly cloudy with a low around 67. Mostly sunny tomorrow with a high near 87. And Tuesday night's forecast, mostly cloudy with a low around 72. The biggest guests and analysts from around the world of sports. The Dan Patrick Show, tomorrow morning at 9. Now back to The Drive with T-Kraz on WDAE and streaming live on Alexa and the free iHeartRadio app. What's on tonight with The Drive with T-Kraz? And it's brought to you by HowardTeamHomeLoans.com with our guy, Chris Mathis. All right, guys. Inside pitch with Ronnie Lane right here ahead of tonight's Rays versus Rangers game. And I just saw Ronnie out in the hallway. He's here ready to rock and roll. The official Rays radio pregame show with Chris Adams Wall will begin following Ronnie's inside pitch show leading up to first pitch all right here on the free iHeartRadio app, streaming live, of course, on 95.3 WDAE and that iHeartRadio app, and then free on-demand podcasting as well. And if you haven't done so, go subscribe to our YouTube channel because we will incorporate that. Moving forward with a couple of more giveaways, if you missed out on your chance to win a pair of Rays tickets for the drive night out. Yeah. Yeah, you can say that, Levante. And, you know, Aaron from Holiday won the first pair today, but we'll give away another pair tomorrow. And another one Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. We'll give away a pair each and every day this week. The drive night out. A Friday night Rays home game each month. The first installment is coming up on April the 12th between the Rays and the Giants. Randy Land, they wear the Devil Rays uniforms. A great way to kick off a Friday night here in Tampa Bay, but Tampa Bay by hanging out with us in a suite for a Rays game. So another pair of tickets coming up tomorrow, and I think we're going to do it the same way. you got to be watching on YouTube, Twitch, and Facebook at 953-WDAE. Like and subscribe, guys. Like and subscribe. Watch us on the stream because you might be the next winner for Drive Night Out tickets. All right, the NFL Draft, I'm really excited. I was talking to my brothers yesterday about this over Easter dinner. Uh, you got all the action with the quarterbacks at the top of the draft. And, you know, I saw that stupid story on, uh, what's his face? The LSU quarterback, Jaden Daniels, with his elbow. What the hell was that? Oh, look at his elbow. It looks uh, on that uh, little picture. It looks, it looks a little puffy. It looks like he had bursitis, like, on his elbow on one of those pictures. I mean, people just, like, dissect anything and everything. With three weeks to go until the draft. It's not a big deal, guys. He's locked in. He's going in the top two. And a lot of people would put him over Caleb Williams as the top quarterback. I'm tempted to do the same thing. You know, last year I felt like C.J. Stroud was far and away the best quarterback in the draft over Bryce Young. I'm not sure what other people were thinking. Whatever. At least they got one right. But I am very confident that Jaden Daniels will be the second pick to Washington. I think the Bears are going to take Caleb Williams. I don't think Jaden Daniels in the conversation to go on. Now, we saw him, especially in that game against the Gators, man, how dominant he can be with his arm, with his legs. I mean, I've never seen anything like it. 600 yards or whatever the hell it was, that was incredible, that performance. But now you got a fast riser, too, in J.J. McCarthy. And it looks as though, unless there's something dramatic that takes place, you know, you're going to have quarterbacks go one, two, three, maybe four as well. Arizona's in that fourth spot, and they should put that pick up for auction because there's a lot of teams that are looking to move up maybe. For J.J. McCarthy, maybe the Minnesota Vikings, they've got 11-23. and 23. You've got the Raiders, you've got the Broncos, you've got the Giants who have the sixth pick. You know, if you're the Giants and you're looking to get J.J. McCarthy, I don't think you can sit at number six and wait for him to fall into your lap. If you want J.J. McCarthy, you're going to have to go from six to four and maybe give up a second-round pick in the process. Boy, if I'm Arizona, man, I'm sitting pretty. If I'm the Patriots, I'm sitting pretty, too. Because maybe somebody else might want to move up for their pick. They pick third. 
But I think there's a good chance you're going to see quarterbacks go one, two, three, four in this draft. I think at least five go in the first round. And I think there's a good chance six go. I think six quarterbacks will go in the first round because you'll have Caleb Williams, then Jaden Daniels, and then Drake May, and then J.J. McCarthy's four. Michael Penix, based on his remarkable pro day from last week, I think he's five, and I think Bo Nix is six. I think six quarterbacks are going in round one. There's no question in my mind. You can lock that one in. I'll put my name on it. Wow. All right. Well, we'll put that out there for everybody to react because yeah. I like that, Tom. And now when you talk about Jay, Jay McCarthy, do you buy into his stock or are you selling? As um, far as you think that he's going top two or three, but do you really think he's going to be that good or is there just so much hype? You said it's lying season right now. It, it is lying season, but I think there are a lot of teams that like him. Now, we're going to find out, you know, in three and a half weeks, the draft is taking place, whatever, April the 24th. Or 25th, that Thursday, round one. We're going to find out. You're going to have to put your cards on the table at that point. Yeah, 25th. 25th, and it's out in the Motor City. It's in Detroit this year. The 25th is round one, and then the 26th, rounds two and three, and then the 27th, the rest of the draft, rounds four through seven. But you're going to have to put your cards on the table at some point. Right now, teams are jockeying for position, and I'm telling you, you better be ready because it is lying season. Three weeks until the draft... You're going to hear a lot of rumors, and most of them will probably not be true because teams will put out some unflattering things. This is where you're going to see drug tests come back on some guys that are made public that are not supposed to be made public. You're going to see a lot of things come to the surface and be reported over the next three weeks or so, and you just have to sift through it. What's fact? What's fiction? Who's telling the truth? Who's lying? It's fascinating, and I'm here for it, but I am confident that six quarterbacks will go in round one. I think Bo Nix will be the sixth quarterback. I think Michael Penix, based on what he did last week, a 37-inch vertical, he ran in the four fives and the 40, the kid out of Dade City, and you watched him play outside of the game against Michigan. Look, I get it. Everyone has a bad day at the office. But you watch Michael Penix throw the football. He throws down the field with accuracy that a lot of guys can't do. And when we met him at the sneaker soiree, his wide smile, yes, sir, no, sir, very polite, very courteous for a young man of his stature. I was super impressed with Michael Penix, the person, when I met him at the sneaker soiree. What a great kid. By the way, <laughs> I brought it up to him. I brought it to his attention. Not that he wasn't thinking about it because he is, by the way. Hey, uh, what about the Bucks taking you at 26? Would you like that? And his face lit up like a Christmas tree. He's like, oh, my gosh. Uh, say that again. Yes, Jason Light. Michael Penix told me and Ronnie Lane it would be like a dream come true. I'm not trying to stir anything up, Baker. That's the whole point. I don't think the Buccaneers will pick him. The Bucks will be on the lookout for an edge rusher. And also an interior offensive lineman, whether it's Jackson Powers Johnson or Graham Barton. Look, there's lots of guys. Chop Robinson, you know, Leitu Latu from UCLA. I think if I were to make up a wish list of four guys to be available at 26, it would be those four guys I just mentioned. The two interior offensive linemen, Graham Barton and Jackson Powers Johnson. Chop Robinson from Penn State. And Leitu Latu, Nanu Nanu, whatever his name is from UCLA, the edge rusher. Those are the four guys right there. Boom. And Jason Light, I'm sure, has those guys. And, you know, I tried to talk Jason Light last week into, you know, let me peek at his draft board. I want one of those cigars. Well, listen, I put it on the table. You know, you want a premium Cuban cigar. You got to let me look at your draft board. Just a peek. Hey, you do have premium cigars now literally on the table, Tom. No, we so, do. I do. Come on now. Let's go, Jason Light. Come on. You know where it's at. Come on, buddy. You know, just a little peek. A little peek. And, you know, for a little peek, you know, you get a beautiful cigar. An hour of bliss, these cigars. Bliss. That's exactly what they are, Jason Light. Bliss. For an hour, for a beautiful hour with your favorite tasting bourbon, whether it's 
Blanton's or an Angel's Envy or something along those lines or Chattanooga Whiskey, whatever. Whatever floats your boat. Just to have me just peek, just a little peek behind the curtain. That's all I want is just a little peek. It's not like I'm going to come on here and tell everybody who, you know, is number one on your board, two, three, four, so on and so forth. Your drafts. Not at this time. I, I realize that, Todd. Not at this time. 888-546-4620. We'll take you up to 530. Ronnie Lane's got wild pitch coming your way then. The Rays and the Texas Rangers tonight. What happened with the Rays over the weekend? What can we expect from one of their hot shot young pitchers against one of the best lineups in baseball? Is he up for the challenge? The good and the bad and the ugly from what we saw over the weekend with the Rays. That's coming up in a matter of moments here on The Drive with T. Kraz. Lock the preset. You're on The Drive with T. Kraz. Guys, whether it's a car accident, motorcycle accident, truck accident, you need to get on the phone and retain the personal injury law firm that is Catania & Catania. If you've been wronged as a result of somebody else's negligence, Call them. They've been at it 30 years. They're tough, tenacious, with a proven track record for success. They work on a contingency, which means there's no cost to you unless they win. $500 million plus and counting. That's how much you have successfully recovered for injury victims just like you. So, yeah, they've done a lot of winning. So, call them. Tell them I sent you. 813-222-8545. That's 813-222-8545. Or hit them up online. Get a free evaluation of your case at Catania and Catania.com. Because over at Catania Catania, they put families first. Office Tampa, not attorney spokesman. And guys, as a homeowner, I know the importance of having a strong roof over your head. Trust me. I've been there, done that. I know what it's like. And my guys over at Green Tech Roofing and Solar... They want to be the guys for you. The number one roofing solution in Tampa Bay. They're offering free inspections. They're my guys. They offer a wide selection of asphalt shingles, tile, metal roofing options. John Franco, I met him. He's awesome. He does residential and commercial. He owns Green Tech Roofing and Solar. Go online. They have over 300 five-star reviews. They're all about laying out your options. They're going to walk you through every step of the process. All you have to do is worry about picking your favorite color of your roof. That's what they do at Green Tech Roofing and Solar. So hit them up online. Visit greentechroofing.com. That's Green Tech, tech spelled T-E-K, roofing.com, to get an accurate estimate by using our free roofing calculator. Green Tech Roofing and Solar. This is Smart Roofing. Tell me, boy, T. Kras sent you. Today, Tampa Bay Rays baseball is live on WDAE. Deep down the line to the corner, home run. Don't miss any of the action as the Rays take on the Texas Rangers. Coverage starts at 5.30. On the home of every Rays game all season long. 95.3 WDAE and AM 620. Streaming across Tampa Bay on the iHeartRadio app. eBay Motors is here for the ride. 120,000 miles of night drives, daily commutes, and who knows how many. Are we there yet? Through countless fixes, elbow grease, and a new radiator, you kept your ride alive. With eBay Motors, you have over 122 million parts to keep it running. And with eBay Guaranteed Fit, they'll be the perfect fit every time. Plus, at these prices, well, we're burning rubber, not cash. Keep your ride or die alive at ebaymotors.com. Eligible items only. Exclusions apply. Planning for spring at Lowe's means big savings on outdoor power equipment. And Lowe's knows nothing feels better than free. Buy one select Ego string trimmer, leaf blower, or mower kit. Get one select 56-volt battery free. That's up to a $299 value. Power through spring with Ego, the number one rated brand in cordless outdoor power. Because Lowe's knows home improvement. Valid through 4-3 while supplies last. Selection varies by location. Join us for our 2024 iHeartRadio Music Awards, live from the Dolby Theater in Hollywood. Tonight, watch on Fox, starting at 8 p.m., and listen on the free iHeartRadio app. Tesla Adrenalast is a proud partner of the iHeartRadio Music Awards, a celebration of artists and the fans who got them there, the fans who make the music truly come alive through their energy and positive vibes. To the fans that make live music possible, we salute you. Hey, if you're listening to me right now, I have one thing every business needs most 
Attention. Think about it. We swipe and scroll past stuff all day. But when we're driving, cooking, working out, we're also listening. That's the magic of audio at iHeart. We're in your next customer's ears while they're living life and listening, just like you are right now. So get your customers to listen up today using radio, digital, and podcasts. Call 844-AD-HELP-5. That's 844-AD-HELP-5. It's a mystery where Old Spice finds its amazing scents like Himalayan sea salt, but I'm thrilled they have because no other body wash exfoliates and moisturizes 24-7 like Old Spice Gentleman's Himalayan sea salt body wash. Now, if only there was a mountain range separating the Indian subcontinent from the Tibetan plateau where I could hide my Old Spice and keep my family from stealing it, my impossibly smooth skin will finally be safe. Men, suffering from erectile dysfunction or PE? Frustrated taking pills that don't work? Here's a message from Prestige Men's Medical Center. I'm Dr. Simovitz. Prestige Men's Medical Center offers breakthrough treatments with men lasting longer than ever without pain or surgery. Call now. Your consultation and first treatment are free. You'll see instant results right in the office. Call Prestige Men's Medical Center now. 813-538-7931. That's 813-538-7931. The tournament is here. Bet Online is your bracket headquarters for this season with the best bracket contest test out there and odds lines and info on every game and every round right up until the national championship you can access the most up-to-the-minute wagering information anytime from your desktop or your mobile device and even track your bracket real time all the way through the tournament head to bet online today to stay updated on all the action bet online the game starts here Everybody. Great job. Next up, we have Samantha. Ten times better performance can make a big difference. Castrol Edge motor oil gives your engine ten times better high temperature performance. Castrol Edge, better oil for maximum performance. Now through April 23rd, get a $15 gift card when you buy five or more quarts of Edge or Edge High Mileage Full Synthetic only at O'Reilly Auto Parts. Claim based on sequence 3H test versus API SP test limits. When something happens to your kitchen and you say, This is ludicrous. You get having trouble? Don't panic. Don't be alarmed. You need to file a claim? Holla at State Farm. That's right. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. State Farm, Bloomington, Illinois. Hi, this is Earl Ron, president of New South Window. New South is having a one-day factory sale. This Saturday only in our factory showroom. 40% off energy-efficient windows and patio doors. One day only, this Saturday from 9 till 4. Please visit us at NewSouthWindow.com. Go to MarkSpain.com to get a guaranteed offer on your home today and start packing. Have you downloaded the free iHeartRadio app yet? Just think, you could take WDAE and your home for sports, music, talk, and podcasts all on one app. Free never, never sounded, sounded so, so good. good. Presented by the law offices of Anna Jar and Levine, accident attorneys. Call 1-800-747-FREE. That's 1-800-747-3733. Broadcasting from the Rude Air Conditioning Studios. The reigning, defending, and undisputed home of Tampa Tampa Bay Bay Sports Sports Talk Talk for over 20 20 years. We are 95.3 FM W237CW Pinellas Park. 95.7 HD3 WBTP Clearwater. 96.7 FM W224BE Brent. And the, and the mighty, mighty 620, 620 WDAE St. Petersburg. Petersburg. Streaming live right now on your free iHeartRadio app. All your sports, music, talk, and podcasts. Hey, hey, hey Tampa, Tampa Bay. Bay. Free has never sounded so good. It's Monday from Dunedin to Seminole and all around Tampa Bay. Plus worldwide. The gloves are off. I'm playing hardball. It's fourth and 15, and you're looking at a full court press. You're tuned into the voice of the Tampa Bay sports fan. You're going to like this guy. He's all right. He's a good fella. He's one of us. Buckle up. Because you're on the drive with t Crass. Afternoons on 95.3 WDAE and AM 620. I'd like to think so, yeah. No, I'd like to think so that... They've done such a good job for so so long of controlling the zone and getting ahead, and we'll get back to that. Uh, but, yeah, the walks have been a little uncharacteristic. 
Race manager Kevin Cash saw his race team lose on Sunday to Toronto 9-2 to to split that four-game series. The Rays issued eight walks in that 9-2 to loss. So they split with Toronto, and now the defending world champion Texas Rangers are in town to face your Rays. 6.50 first pitch tonight. Ryan Pepio, the youngster, against the kid. Dane Dunning from the Florida Gators. Welcome back. Good afternoon, Tampa Bay. If you're just getting in your car, hope you had a great Monday. The Drive with t Kraz. great to have you with us with executive producer Chris Mathis as well. By the way, I know we've only been on the air for a few days, but I want to get your thoughts, guys, on the new Open because we haven't had a chance to solicit any comments from the Open, which was beautifully done, by the way. I was working with our boss, John Momola, on that open for quite a while. And look, it's going to mirror my personality and what I like, too. I'm a big fan of the Dark Knight trilogy with Christopher Nolan. Hans Zimmer is one of the all-time great composers. And you heard a little Dark Knight, you know, right there at the beginning. And then maybe my favorite line from... Uh, the Naked Gun, which is a movie that came out way before you were born there, Chris Mathis, back in the late 80s. Yeah, 1988, according to my Google search. There you go. Boy, look at you. Ten years before I was born. That's that's lovely. But yeah, what was the reference in that? Well, that was the late, great Leslie Nielsen, and that was maybe my favorite nine. The Naked Gun is one of the funniest movies ever. So he's having this verbal confrontation with Ricardo Montalban in the ballroom, and... He says to Ricardo Montalban, whose character is Vincent Ludwig, he says, the gloves are off, Ludwig. I'm playing hardball. It's fourth and 15, and you're looking at a full-court press. So he got all four major sports in that one sound clip. And I told Mamola, I want that clip because that was one of my favorite lines from The Naked Gun. So that's one of my favorites. And, of course, you know, the Ray Liotta line, the late, great Ray Liotta line from Goodfellas. You're going to like this guy. He's a good fill. He's one of us. So a little bit of everything sprinkled into the open. But, you know, you guys can comment on the open. You guys can comment on what you saw out of the Rays over the weekend. There was some goodness. Yandy and Randy were outstanding. Two home runs. The opposite field for Randy and Rosarina. He's making that added bulk work for him. He's hitting 357. Yandy Diaz also hitting 357. So those two guys are getting it done. Brandon Lau had the big grand slam on Friday. It looks like he's rounding into form a little bit. You know, you saw some struggles out of him in spring training. But as long as he stays upright, and look, I'm I'm shooting for 130 games. Yeah, we play 162, but I want to try and take baby steps with him. 130. He plays 130. He's hitting at least 27 home runs. I'm confident. And those are the three guys that have to carry the Rays. It's got to be Brandon Lau, Randy Rosarena, and Yandy Diaz. It's those three guys. Because Josh Lowe is out. He's going to be out for a few more weeks, it sounds like. Jonathan Aranda, who knows, with the broken pinky finger. Johnny DeLuca's got the broken hand. So, in terms of the position players, those three guys have to carry the mail for the Rays moving forward. And, you know... Isak Paredes, you know, a little bit of a struggle there. Hit a home run yesterday in the ninth inning. Maybe that gets him going a little bit, but so far, not so good for Isak so far this season. I mean, he's not as good or not as bad as, you know, Harold Ramirez, who is one for 17. But Isak Paredes is two for 15. But maybe Um, that, yes, maybe that home run, Eric Neander, in the ninth inning kind of gets Isak going. And look, he's one of the guys that I pointed to last week. Like, boy, you had a number of guys who put forth some monstrous numbers. And he was one of them. And you heard Brian Anderson. He was on with us in the last hour. He had 31 home runs last year. All 31 were pulled. You mean to tell me that the opposition doesn't know that too? They know it. They're going to work him on the outer edge of the plate. They're going to force him to try and take that ball the other way because If you try and pull a ball that's tailing away from you, it's going to end up being a weak ground ball of short. Six to three put out. 
So Isak is going to have to make some adjustments and make the count work in his favor. And he's not in the lineup tonight, and I think that's a good thing. you got the righty on the mound. Isak is obviously a right-handed hitter. And you got Dane Dunning going, the kid from the Florida Gators. In three starts against the Rays, he doesn't have a record, but pretty impressive. You know, 16 innings pitched against the Rays. He's only allowed two runs. Five walks, though, 15 strikeouts. So the five walks are a big number. And maybe the Rays can work the count against him. Get on base. Steal some bases, which would be great. You saw the Rays with six stolen bases over the weekend in the four games. That's what you want to see. Last year, they had 160 stolen bases. And maybe the Rays can use some of that aggressiveness to work for them on the base path. Sometimes they get a little overly aggressive. Caballero got a little overly aggressive on that bunt where he tried to go from first to third, got thrown out. Then he got shoved by Genesis Cabrera, who used to be a former Rays farmhand. Cabrera today suspended three games for that, you know, goonish type of behavior. Jeez, I mean, come on. That was... Are you professional It was unprofessional. That's why he got suspended. So I'm happy to see Major League Baseball do what they're doing. Caballero hitting 385. He's done well. Savali was terrific on Friday. Zach Littell was pretty good on Saturday. The opener strategy yesterday, Bupkis, that didn't work too well, you know? Even though you mother... Not, not, not everything, Kevin Cash. And now tonight you got Ryan Pepio going, who had a couple of really good spring training outings, and now he gets tested. Because this Texas Rangers lineup is pretty damn good, and they are explosive, and they are the defending champs for a reason. They've got a couple of super players right at the top of their lineup, Marcus Simeon, Corey Seager. Remember a couple of years ago in free agency, the Rangers gave those two guys combined $500 million. And that's what the Rangers did last year. When they saw a problem, they just kept throwing money at it. Jacob DeGrom, let's throw money at him. Oh, you know, he gets hurt. Uh, Max Scherzer, let's go and get him. Uh, Jordan Montgomery, let's go and get him. Let's keep throwing money at a problem. That was one of the first times, that was one of the rare times you've seen in recent memory where a team is just throwing money, uh, globs of dollars on top of dollars on top of dollars at a problem until they can finally fix it. And the Rangers did it. They fixed it. And oh, by the way, on their way to the World Series last year, Their World Series run began right here against our Rays, and I'll never forget it. I'll never forget game one. And the Rays would like to forget it because that was a nightmare. That was the worst game the Rays played, you know, in a couple of years. Last year, game one against Texas. The four errors, the misplays in the field, base running blunders, everything else, getting locked up by uh, the Rangers and their pitching staff. Jordan Montgomery also part of it in that two-game sweep of the Rays on their way to winning a World Series. Now the Rays have a chance for some redemption. They can go out there and pay pay back the Texas Rangers beginning tonight with Pepio on the mound. And Pepio's got this lineup that is very good, including two Rookie of the Year candidates and Evan Carter, the right fielder, and Wyatt Langford, another Florida Gator product on this Texas Rangers team. So this is going to be a great test for Ryan Pepio. I'm all about it. I can't wait. Great fastball, mid to high 90s, slider, working on a really good changeup. I mean, he's a kid who's got a diverse set of weapons that he can use. And if he's got good command of all three, and we saw it at times during the spring, You're talking about a pitcher with a very high upside in Ryan Pepio. That's the kid they got in the Tyler Glass now trade once upon a time. 888-546-4620. Oh, nice. Yeah, it was nice. We'll find out, Tyler, if the guy they got for you can pay some dividends here tonight. Your calls and texts are always welcome. We've got uh, Ronnie Lane. He's coming up with pass ball at the bottom of the hour. And we're going to talk more about the Rays as 
this uh, day goes on. Don't forget, the Drive Night Out tickets. We gave away a pair today. We're going to give away another pair tomorrow. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, we're going to give a pair each and every day this week for you to join us in a suite for the Rays game against the Giants on uh, April the 12th, which is not this Friday, but next Friday. So Friday night at the Trap, you can get to hang out with us here on the show. It's going to be a beautiful thing. It's now time for the final drive. The final drive. Boy, I tell you what, you know, it's early in the season for the Rays, but I'm going to focus on some of the positives. And the, some of the positives are, you know, a couple of guys who can sustain the type of success they had from a year ago. One of them is Yandy Diaz, who led the American League in hitting. He's off to a good start. He homered in his first at-bat of the season on Thursday, which was great to see. He's hitting 357 so far this season. He picked up where he left off. Randy Arozarena hit a couple of home runs the opposite way. And he looks really good. He's making that added weight work for him. There was an adjustment period of carrying that extra weight. So far, so good with Randy. He's also hitting 357 on the season. And that weight hasn't really slowed him down on the base pads. He's got two stolen bases so far this season, which is also a good thing. So behind Randy and Yandy, the Rays had their nucleus intact. And those two guys We'll have to drive it this year here on The Drive. There. The Final Drive. Yeah, that's The Final Drive. Is that she Rice, you know, peeling out? Oh, oh come, come on, on dude. That's, come on. That's, that's, that's terrible. But he's terrible. What are you doing if you're Rasheed Rice? I mean, you're out there. You're trying to race. What was it? Was he driving a Lamborghini or was he driving the Corvette? I, I don't know. I saw a mixed confl uh, conflicted reports there. I think it was the Corvette. So he retained legal counsel. Now the Chiefs are investigating. The cops want to talk to Rasheed Rice. You are an NFL player. Don't you think there are going to be repercussions? Don't you think that somebody's going to find out about something as outrageous as a drag race where injuries are suffered? By the way, you're going to get sued, too. You're going to get sued. Boy, Katani, Katani would be all over that, man. Injury accident right there. They would be going after Rasheed Rice like nobody's business. All right, the uh, pass ball is coming up in a matter of moments. Guys, I've been talking about my friends over at QC Kinetics for quite a long time right now. Dr. Zuckerman and his team of professionals, they're awesome. A couple of years ago, my elbow was in a bad way. After a couple of treatments, boom, they cured it. My knee was also in a bad place last year into this year. Guess what? They cured that too. I want to thank Haley. She was awesome, as well as Elena, the great staff over at QC Kinetics in the St. Pete location. That's what they do. It's regenerative medicine, guys. They can restore and repair that damaged joint tissue all naturally. No drugs, no surgery, no downtime. So if you still have those achy joints, your back, your knee, your shoulder, your hip, for maybe arthritis or an old injury, you know, forget about drugs and steroids and surgery. They are no longer your best options. QC Kinetics, an all-natural solution, are. It's called regenerative medicine, natural biologics, using your own body's healing power to restore and repair that damaged joint tissue. The all-natural way, guys, and... You need to learn more about this breakthrough and revolutionary approach. All you got to do is call them. It's a free consultation. 813-305-3000. That's 813-305-3000. QC Kinetics locations in Brandon, St. Pete, Lakeland, and Bradenton. Tell me, boy, Tom Krasnicki sent you. 813-305-3000. Ronnie Lane is standing by with Inside Pitch. Now, tomorrow... We got a big show tomorrow, Chris Mathis. What's happening? Yeah, absolutely. We're waiting to find out which Rays guest we have. Could be a coach, could be the manager, Kevin Cash, could be one of their top three players that we asked for. We'll, of course, have that for you guys each and every Tuesday throughout this season, Tom, you know, at you know, three. Everything we do. I don't know about everything, Kevin, but at 3 30 each and every Tuesday, a Rays player and or a coach will join us right here on this very program. So, so wait a minute. Is there a chance that Kevin Cash joins us, maybe? 
None yet. Uh, Eric Neander, you know, I don't want to agree with you on that. I think there is a chance. There's always a chance. We always put out a bid for Kevin Cash to join us. We'll see if he joins us tomorrow. Well, he's not afraid to come on. That That's for damn sure. But I know he's got a lot of responsibilities now that these games are at 650, right? Yeah, 650. Players are out on the field at like 330. That's weird, man. The, yeah. six, the 650 thing is a little weird, but I get it. I understand why the Rays are doing it. Stu Sternberg explained it to me that last week. These games are running two hours, 20 minutes. I mean, if you're out of there by 915, you're home by 915, you put the kids to bed by 10, 1015, and you call it a night, I think that's a good night. Oh, Tom, one more thing. Fill in the blank, man. It's Tuesday tomorrow. Let's go. Fill in the blank tomorrow. A raise player or coach tomorrow at 330, plus another pair of drive night out tickets as well. So that's going to be the show for tomorrow. I want to thank Brian Anderson. What an awesome guest. Any interviews you may have missed, 953WDA.com, The Drive with T-Kraz there, or through the iHeartRadio app. Rays baseball coverage. Ronnie Lane's got it coming your way next. Rays up. Also, the lightning against the Red Wings at Emily Arena tonight. Beat those wings. Clip them. We'll see you tomorrow. You're dismissed. Come on. Get out of here. What name? Did you hear what this man said to me? Now, I have witnesses. This man is physically threatening me. Thank you for listening to The Drive with T-Crash. If you missed anything from today's show, head to The Drive with T-Crash blog at 953WDAE.com or listen to the on-demand podcast on the free iHeartRadio app. Stay tuned. Inside Pitch with Ronnie Lane is next, live on 95.3 WDAE and AM620. From the Safe Touch Security Traffic Center. WDAE. Traffic update. Crash in the left-hand lane on southbound 75, just south of I-4, and traffic slow from Fowler Avenue. Also, we're seeing delays on eastbound I-4 from 301 to past I-75 and northbound 275, slow in Tampa from Lois Avenue towards downtown. Delays on the northbound Veterans Expressway near that exit for Dale Mabry, and we're seeing delays in St. Pete on north and southbound 275 near Gandy. With traffic, I'm Randy Myers. This report is sponsored by eBay Motors eBay Motors is here for the ride with the parts you need at the prices you want. And with eBay Guaranteed Fit, they're guaranteed to fit your ride the first time, every time, or your money back. Keep your ride or die alive at ebaymotors.com. Eligible items only. Exclusions apply. If you're celebrating a milestone anniversary this year, or just starting the process of picking out that engagement ring, welcome to International Diamond Center. At IDC, we're one of a few jewelers around the world with direct access to exquisite diamonds from Namibia. These are the highest quality, most brilliant diamonds on the planet. And with IDC's connections with the cutters, you can be assured of the ultimate in value with no middleman markups. And just as important as the brilliance of our diamond is the source itself. An IDC diamond comes only from specific mines that follow strict international laws and environmental standards. Not only do we guarantee conflict-free diamonds, we are proud that when you purchase an IDC diamond, you are helping provide dignified employment, much needed education, and necessary health care to African families. So come and shop with confidence at IDC. Confidence in the quality, the value, and the integrity of our diamonds. International Diamond Center. Transparency, honesty, responsibility. Learn more at shopidc.com or visit our showroom today in Tampa, Clearwater, Lakeland, and Sarasota. I lock up my Old Spice Fiji Aluminum Free Dry Spray to keep that 24-7 lasting freshness safe for myself. Fresh coconuts, palm trees in the wind. It's like catching waves in Fiji. Actually, I just talked myself into a refreshing spritz of Fiji. My old spice is missing! No! <laughs> eBay Motors is here for the ride. 120,000 miles of night drives, daily commutes, and who knows how many. Are we there yet? Through countless fixes, elbow grease, and a new radiator, you kept your ride alive. With eBay Motors, you have over 122 million parts to keep it running. And with eBay Guaranteed Fit, they'll be the perfect fit every time. Plus, at these prices, well, we're burning rubber, not cash. Keep your ride or die alive at ebaymotors.com. Eligible items only. Exclusions apply. Hey, it's Brett from Bull Oak. Are you struggling from erectile dysfunction? We've got a groundbreaking solution that's transformed the lives of thousands of men. Our WAVE technology is backed by 50 clinical studies, including research from prestigious Cambridge University. It revitalizes blood flow by repairing blood vessels. 
all without the need for pills or the worry of side effects. If you're ready to end your erectile dysfunction struggles, call us now. Not only will you get a free assessment and blood flow ultrasound, we're also throwing in your first treatment free on us. That's right. Give us a call and schedule an appointment and we'll get you your first treatment free. This is a $600 value and it's yours free if you call in the next two minutes. Call 813-219-1919. That's 813-219-1919. Guys, it's time to reclaim your love life and put an end to your erectile dysfunction. Call 813-219-1919. Call Bull Oak now to qualify. 813-219-1919. When something happens to your kitchen and you say, This is ludicrous. You get having trouble? Don't panic. Don't be alarmed. You need to file a claim? Holla at State Farm. That's right. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. State Farm, Bloomington, Illinois. I'm John Morgan of Morgan & Morgan. For over 35 years, we've grown by offering our clients more. More offices, more lawyers, and recovering more than $20 billion. Injured? The choice is easy. Morgan & Morgan. Visit ForThePeople.com for an office near you. If you want your windows there in weeks, pick up the phone and just text Reese. Win $15,000 in new impact windows from Reese Windows. Pick up your phone and text the word HAPPY right now to 20129. That's HAPPY to 20129. One, two, nine. I'm Mark Anajar. I'm Glenn Levine. I'm Ellie Anajar. Together, we're Anajar and Levine. If you've been hurt in a car crash, we'll fight to get you the maximum compensation you deserve. Call Anajar and Levine for your free consultation. 1-800-747-FREE. Main office, Tampa. Hi, this is Earl Ron, president of New South Window. New South is having a one-day factory sale. This Saturday only in our factory showroom. 40% off energy-efficient windows and patio doors. One day only, this Saturday from 9 till 4. Please visit us at NewSouthWindow.com. If you want your windows there in weeks, pick up the phone and just text Reese. Win $15,000 in new impact windows from Reese Windows. Pick up your phone and text the word HAPPY right now to 20129. That's HAPPY to 20129. From the Cool Today Weather Center, cooltoday.com. Partly cloudy tonight with a low of 67 degrees. Tuesday, mostly sunny with a high near 85. Tuesday night, we can expect some breezy weather, partly cloudy with a low of 72 degrees. And Wednesday, showers possible after 9 a.m., high near 81. This report is sponsored by Fresh from Florida. Hey, guys, Chef Justin with Fresh from Florida here, reminding you that Fresh from Florida sweet corn is in season now. And for amazing sweet corn recipes, visit FreshFromFlorida.com. Fresh from Florida, there's sunshine in every bite. Stuck in traffic? Signal cutting out? Get online. Download the free iHeartRadio app. You can take WDAE and your home for sports, music, talk, and podcasts all in one app. Free never sounded so good. Presented by the law offices of Anna Jar and Levine, accident attorneys. Call 1 800 747 free. That's 1 800 747 3733. Broadcasting live from the Rude Air Conditioning Studios, we are Tampa Bay's home for sports. Over 20 years and counting. 95.3 WDAE and the mighty AM620. Welcome to the Inside Pitch. Getting you set for all things baseball in Tampa Bay. Brought to you by the Central Florida Behavioral Health Network and the Department of Children and Families. Now your host, Ronnie Lane. All right, let's do this thing. Welcome into another edition of Inside Pitch. Thank you for joining me. This edition of Inside Pitch is being produced by Jason Barringer. First pitch with Andy Freed and Neil Solons. Coming up at 6.50 tonight, Ray's pregame with Chris Adams, Wall and Company begins at 6 o'clock at the top of the hour. And here's what we got coming up for you on tonight's Inside Pitch just ahead of the Rays and the Rangers at 6.50 from the Trop. And don't forget, by the way, you can now stream Rays baseball from anywhere in the Tampa Bay area via the free iHot Radio app. So coming up on Inside Pitch tonight, we are going to give you my luck of the game. That's coming up in just a few minutes. We'll also bring you up to the minute info on the Rays with Tampa Bay Rays insider Mark Topkin. Tonight's starting lineups we'll have for you, the pitching pairings, injury reports, keys to the game. We got a lot to cover So let's get right to it. The Rays, of course, yesterday wrapped up a four-game series with the Rangers. Didn't end the way the Rays would have liked for it to end. By the way, 19 total walks by Rays pitchers over a four-game series. That is something they've got to cut down on. 
and the returns were not good early on Tyler Alexander, the reclamation project from the Detroit Tigers. Five runs on five hits, including a couple of home runs in five innings. And the Rays' sloppy 9-2 to two loss to the Jays yesterday on Easter Sunday. Jacob Wackespack was not that much better. He scuffled. He uh, walked four in his one inning of work. So here we are, 51 games in, their first 56 days of the season. And I just told Tom in the hallway, I'm a little concerned about the starting pitching depth with all the injuries, and we'll get to the injuries in just a second amongst this Rays rotation. But one bright spot is Randy Arena, who now has two home runs. He hit his second yesterday in the first. Gosman ready, pumps the leg and pitches. Popped him up into right field, although it's pushing back Biggio to the track at the wall, and it's gone! Home run! That ball had tremendous life on it as it carried over the right center field wall. Home run to Rosarena, 2-1 to one, Toronto. Chicks, kids, everybody still deals, uh, <laughs> digs the long ball. And it's great to see Randy or Rosarina doing his thing and getting off to an early start because that was one of the questions, too. With the added weight, how would it affect his swing? Uh, I think his swing is okay. And I love seeing him go to right field. That is awesome to see Randy using the entire field. And that was just about it for the Rays because the Jays got a couple of runs in the first. They got a couple of more in the second. They added three in the fifth. Two and, yeah, you, 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 you get where I'm going. They ended up with a 9-2 win. The Rays did get another run, uh, an oh-by-the-way run. But it was just good to see this guy connect Isak Paredes in the bottom of the ninth. Isak Paredes lifts one in the air to deep left field. We had said he was getting closer, and now he's hit one over the wall for his first home run of the year. Isak Paredes with home run number one, and it's 9-2 to two, Toronto. Well, hopefully, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, that is a sign of good things to come from Isak because he has been scuffling uh, through the first four games of the season. So the Rays... You know, they earn a split of this series, and that's good because the Tampa, uh, the Toronto Blue Jays are one of the top teams in the American League East, but you had a chance to win that series, win three out of four with a victory yesterday, and the pitching did not hold up. So what's the formula here? No good starting pitching. You don't get a win. That's what's happened in the first four games. Uh, Eflin kind of faltered midway through the game and on opening day, as we all recall. Rays ended up losing that one 8-2. to two. And then we saw the opener strategy with Armstrong. Armstrong was scuffling just as much as the guy who came in after him, and the Rays failed to win the closing game of that series and ended up with a split of the Jays. But it's early, folks. Four games in, only 158 more to go. So now we turn our attention to the Texas Rangers. They come to town tonight, and they are the defending World Series champion. I'm going to have the pitching pairings for you in just a second. But first, let me give you my lock of the game for tonight. Ahmed Rosario, he's off to a good start, 3-for-8 on the season with an RBI. I think he may get a couple of hits tonight, drive in a run, still a base too, like what I've seen from Rosario early in this season. We are counting down to the Rays against the Rangers, presented by Pen Chasers, Tampa Bay's home for bowling, food, and fun. Visit penchasers.net for more information. All right, this is the Inside Pitch, presented by the Central Florida Behavioral Health Network and the Department of Children and Families. Prescription opioids can be addictive and dangerous. It only takes a little to lose a lot. But there is hope. Recovery is possible. For more information, head to cfbhn.org. You've got it on the inside pitch. I am Ronnie Lane here on your home for Rays Baseball 95.3 WDAE and the mighty AM620. Hey, it's Looking for a fun-filled day Jeff with your loved Jr., ones? Look of Trajan Wealth, talking about 401ks, and I've always heard that 401ks were great, but you're telling me something different here, Jeff. Well, 401ks are great when you're employed there. However, if you're no longer employed, 
You probably don't want to keep that 401k with your old employer, and you probably don't want to roll that old 401k into your new employer's plan. Really? Now, now why is that? Well, most 401ks have limited investment options and can cost you thousands of dollars more in fees. And that's true even if you roll it over into your new employer's 401k. You also lose a lot of control by leaving your 401k with your old employer. If the company sells or merges, they often freeze it. That is great insight, Jeff. And if you have a 401k with an old employer, stop what you're doing and call Trajan Wealth, 813-550-1000. That's 813-550-1000. Advisory services offered through Trajan Wealth, LLC, an SEC-registered investment advisor, paid advertisement. Looking for a fun-filled day with your loved ones? Look no further than Pin Chasers. At Pin Chasers, we've been guaranteeing a great time for over 65 years. Whether you're a family, kids, or young adults, Pin Chasers is the place to be. Enjoy exciting bowling, delicious food, and nonstop fun under one roof. Visit our website at pinchasers.net to learn more and plan your unforgettable outing at Pin Chasers. It's guaranteed fun, or it's on us. My son was 20 years old when he was prescribed opioids. It took him five days to get addicted. I'm not supposed to be the one to go get his suit that I'm going to bury him in. My son overdosed at the age of 22 years old. If you're struggling with prescription opioids, there is hope. Recovery is possible. Contact Central Florida Behavioral Health Network at cfbhn.org. Central Florida Behavioral Health Network is a managing entity contracted with the Department of Children and Families. It's a Tampa Bay tradition unlike any other. Well, sorta. It's back. The Drive Night Out with T Craz. Score yourself a pair of tickets to hang out with T Craz at the Trop and a Suite at Tropicana Field and get the VIP treatment. For food, drinks, swag, and so much more as the Rays take on the Giants. Be listening all week to win, presented by your Tampa Bay Rays and 95.3 WDAE and AM620. Streaming live on Alexa and the free iHeartRadio app. This is the Inside Pitch, streaming live on Alexa and the free iHeartRadio app. Presented by the Central Florida Behavioral Health Network and the Department of Children and Families. Towing the rubber and all warmed up. Here's today's pitching matchup on the Inside Pitch. Presented by Audubell Hearing Centers. Better hearing through professional care. Ronnie Lane with you. Hope you are enjoying, are enjoying your All Fool's Day, April Fool's Day, April 1st, as we get ready for the Rangers and the Rays tonight from the Trop. The two pitchers on the mound for the visiting Rangers. It'll be Big Dane Dunning, 6'4", 225-pounder. He is uh, out of the University of Florida, former first-round pick of the Rangers, and that is your starter tonight for the Rangers, he has a big-time arsenal. He's got a fastball, a slider, a cutter, a changeup, a curve, but he relies a lot on that fastball 37% of the time. It averages about 91 miles an hour. That slider averages about 82, and he relies on that about 24% of the time, and then he mixes in that cutter, changeup, and curve. That is Dane Dunning who went 12-7 and seven on the season a year ago with a 3.70 ERA and a 1.26 whip. Now, going for the Rays tonight, it's young Ryan Pepio. Remember, he came over in the Tyler Glasnow deal, and his pitching arsenal looks like so. He's got a fastball, changeup, and a slider, and that changeup is devastating because he throws it with the same motion as his fastball. Fastball averages in the mid-90s. He throws that about half the time, 51% of the time. The changeup is uh, pretty good, too. At 86, he throws that about 35% of the time. And he has a slider, a hard slider that he gets up there about 15% of the time. And obviously, he had an injury plague season a year ago, 2-1 and one with the Dodgers with a 2.14 ERA. In 42 innings of work, though, folks, he struck out 30 Eight, and he has not faced anyone in the Rangers lineup. So this is going to be an interesting matchup tonight. The youngster for the Rays going up against the defending world champion Rangers. And we'll have their lineups in a minute, in just a minute. But now it's time to have a conversation with Mark Topkin from the Tampa Bay Times. We love catching up with Mark before each game as uh, Jason Barringer works to get him on the line because... 
Mark is there usually at every game. You know, he gets some games off. It's a long season, but he's usually there at every game, and he's there at the pregame when the skipper gives you the update, the skipper being Kevin Cash, on what's going on with the race. So I've got some questions for him tonight about what Kevin thought about the pitching overall over the weekend. I know he can't be happy with the 19 total walks that Rays pitchers have given up. I think 13 of those walks issued by the bullpen. Let me look for the numbers I had on that. Yeah, 13 walks and 13 and a third innings given up by the Rays bullpen. But it looks like we have Topper on the horn. And so, Mark, I say good afternoon to you. Happy All Fool's Day. And what kind of a mood was Kevin Cash in today before the game? Uh, I'd say he was in an okay mood. He definitely wasn't up for any uh, April Fool's Day pranks or anything. <laughs> so I don't. I think people here probably knew better than that coming off uh, yesterday's loss, Ronnie. But, look, they're uh, excited to see uh, Ryan Pepio on the mound tonight. They're obviously playing a team that, you know, if you think about it, eliminated them last year. So uh, not in any way like, oh, they have something to prove. But I think, you know, it's just kind of natural that you'd be a little more like, okay, they beat us, and then they went on and won the World Series, and here they are at our place again. I haven't seen any of their players showing off those new rings yet, but we saw they got them over the weekend at home, so uh, I'm sure they're flashing around somewhere in the visiting clubhouse. Still hard to believe that the Rangers went through the playoffs, and it started right here in Tampa Bay, right where you are right now at the Trop, winning all 11 road games. That was just crazy. Uh, Hopefully the Rangers... Go ahead. No, I was going to say, totally a crazy run, and I, you probably saw this, but I thought it was an awesome feature in those rings. They, The teams they beat along the way were the Rangers, Orioles, Astros, and D-backs, which spells road, so that's actually on the inside of their ring, and they use the logo. They use the logo of each team, so the oh. Rays R is on the inside of their ring, so they're a, the Rays are an official part of their ring. That is pretty doggone funny. The Rays have a couple of hitters that are scuffling. You know who they are. We all know who they are. What's going on in your mind with uh, Harold and uh, Pilat? You know, it's not just Harold. It's Paredes, too. I know he had a home run yesterday. It was good to see that. But what's going on with those two hitters? Yeah, both out of the lineup today. Uh, Cash said, you know, just reflection of not wanting to play guys, you know, four or five days in a row, coming right out of spring training on the turf and all that. But, yeah, neither guys looked real good at the play. Paredes a little bit better in those last couple of bats yesterday. But uh, neither guy really seems to have their groove. Harold looked good there in the spring. He lost weight. He was running around a lot and playing pretty well. So I guess you just attribute it to uh, you're going to slump sometime, and these guys are doing it right at the start of the year. But it's never good for your confidence, right? You want to start the year on a good note. You want to to get off to a good start, and and when you don't, then, yeah, people start asking questions. So uh, I would think in Harold's case, he always seems like he just can roll out of bed and hit. So I would think maybe a day off does him good. Uh, Paredes, we'll see. He's been a little bit streaky in his career, and when he's hot, he's super hot. But we'll see if uh, yesterday, uh, after being off today, gets him going at all. The other guy not in the lineup today is Jose Caballero, the guy who played shortstop the first four games, played really well, made a great impression, new player here, acquired from Seattle. Uh, Cash said that was really just a matter of not wanting to play him five in a row, coming out of spring training on the turf. And they've got Ahmed Rosario at short tonight, a position he used to play quite a bit, but not as much the last year or two. Yeah, and I notice he's hitting cleanup too. So I've got him, uh, you know, picked as uh, my he's my pick, uh, my lock to tonight to do something special with the with the bat at the plate. So hopefully that comes true. Listen, uh, you mentioned Caballero, and he got that little had that little dust up on Saturday with uh, Cabrera. Cabrera got suspended, correct? The three games that were you surprised by that? Three game suspension. Uh, he uh, appealed, so it kind of gets held in abeyance. And sometimes pitchers do that so the team can kind of orchestrate when they're going to miss their three games. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I, I, I don't know. I don't want to like use a pejorative phrase here, but it was a little bit of, of kind of a punk move, I guess. I mean, yeah. you know, he, he there was no re the play was over, right? I mean, Caballero came around second. He saw that Bichette had the ball. A coach was telling him slow up. He gave himself up, and then uh, Cabrera you kind of like hard tags him for no reason. He already was out, Cabrera didn't have the ball. And then you see Caballero kind of say to him uh, the gist of it. I'm sure there was a few more colorful words in there. In Spanish, was like, what's up? What are you doing that for? And then Cabrera shoves him again, the one hand going to his face. So I, I thought Cash was interesting, though. He, he kind of had very limited words after the game about it, but what he said was he very uh, appreciative and proud of the way 
Caballero handled himself. In other words, not getting drawn into retaliating or starting a fight, and which would have led to other guys probably getting suspended or maybe even hurt. So it, it was good discipline on Caballero's part. And you know, Cabrera used to be over here with the Rays. I think he had a little bit of hurt, you know, from some of the people in the minor leagues, a little bit of a hot temper along the way. So uh, it just seemed uncalled for. That wasn't necessary in that game at that moment. Totally agree with you. Last one from me. Any concerns from Cash or anyone with a race about the bullpen giving up 13 walks in 13 and a third innings through the first four games? Yeah, not good. <laughs> I mean, I think I can make that very astute baseball observation. <laughs> not good. John Romano wrote a little bit about that today in the Times. And, and I think, you know, the gist of it that Cash said, I would probably agree with him, is that bullpen for the most part has been there, done that, guys. Maybe not in the exact roles they're in now, but uh, they they feel pretty comfortable. Those guys are going to be good on most days. So, you know, chuck that up a little bit. Wagespot didn't look good yesterday. A couple other guys have gotten in, you know, just the one time. So, I think once they get in a routine and a rhythm, you'll see those guys uh, be a little sharper and uh, throw strikes with better ball strike ratio. And it's the starters that we've talked about, Ronnie, a couple times that they're the ones they got to watch. We'll see what Pepio does tonight. But I, I think the bullpen will be okay. All right, I'm with you, and I am looking forward to seeing what Pepio has in his arsenal tonight with his three pitches. Hopefully he has great command. Mark, enjoy covering the game. We'll talk to you tomorrow afternoon. All right, Ronnie, sounds good. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Mark Topkin with the uh, Tampa Bay Times. We are counting down to the Rays against the Rangers, presented by Pen Chasers, Tampa Bay's home for bowling, food, and fun. Visit penchasers.net for more information. And as we continue on Inside Pitch, don't forget it is being presented by our good friends at the Central Florida Behavioral Health Network and the Department of Children and Families here on your home for Rays Baseball 95.3 WDAE and the mighty AM620. Ah, the sounds of baseball. But if you have hearing loss, you miss out on the action. Audibel Hearing Centers provides a better quality of life for those suffering from hearing loss. Offering free hearing tests by trained specialists at their 26 locations. Don't buy hearing aids online. Get yours custom made. Make an appointment for Audibel Hearing Centers at floridahearing.com. Better hearing through professional care. Proud partner of the Tampa Bay Rays. Hi, Darcy the Cow here for Black Cow, the mature manure. Get a better looking lawn with Black Cow. Apply to your lawn as top dressing and get 10 times more nutrients than topsoil. Black Cow will feed your lawn, your flower beds, and vegetable gardens for up to three months. Oh yeah, everything grows better with sun, water, and Black Cow. Black Cow, the mature manure, Black Cow. Looking for a fun-filled day with your loved ones? Look no further than Pin Chasers. At Pin Chasers, we've been guaranteeing a great time for over 65 years. Whether you're a family, kids, or young adults, Pin Chasers is the place to be. Enjoy exciting bowling, delicious food, and nonstop fun under one roof. Visit our website at pinchasers.net to learn more and plan your unforgettable outing at Pin Chasers. It's guaranteed fun, or it's on us. Hi, Andrew Duncan of the Duncan Duo team at LPT Realty. The official real estate agents of the Tampa Bay Lightning combined with one of the fastest growing real estate firms in the country. What's that equal for you? An instant cash offer for your home. Get an instant cash offer at DuncanDuo.com. That's DuncanDuo.com. I'm John Morgan of Morgan & Morgan. Today, we're the largest injury firm in the world, and I'm thankful to you for trusting us all these years. We'll always be here for the people, not the powerful. Injured? The choice is easy. Morgan & Morgan. Visit ForThePeople.com for an office near you. One, two, three. Broadcasting live from the Rude Air Conditioning Studios, we are Tampa Bay's home for sports and Buccaneers fans around the world. Over 20 years and counting. 95.3 WDAE and the mighty AM620. This is the Inside Pitch. Inside, Inside pitch. pitch. Presented by the Central Florida Behavioral Health Network and the Department of Children and Families. Streaming live on Alexa and the free iHeartRadio app. Get your scorecards ready. Here's today's starting lineups on the Inside Pitch. Brought to you by the Golden Diamond Source. Ronnie Lane here. We're working our way to a 651st pitch. Rangers and uh, Rays at the Trop tonight. Here's the Rangers lineup. 
Marcus Simeon will lead off and play second base. He'll be followed by Corey Seager at shortstop and hitting in the two-hole there. Evan Carter's the right fielder tonight. For the Rangers, Adolis Garcia, good friend of Randy Rosarina's in the cleanup spot hitting DH for the world champion Yankees. Josh Young is the third baseman. Big-time prospect, five-tool guy, Wyatt Langford is in left field for the Rangers tonight. Hitting seventh, it's Jared Walsh. He'll play first base. Jonah Hines, the catcher, and Travis Jankowski is in center field for the defending world champion, Texas Rangers. Again, their lineup, Simeon, Seeger, and Carter, Garcia, Young, Langford, Walsh, Heim, and Jankowski. For the homestanding Rays, looking for the third win of the season, Yandy Diaz gets the night off from playing first base, but he still leads off. He's the DH today for the Rays. Brandon Lau's in the two-hole, playing second base as usual. Randy Arroz Arena batting third and playing left field tonight. Ahmet Rosario is the shortstop. He's hitting cleanup tonight for the Rays. Richie Palacios is the right fielder. A right fielder. He's hitting fifth. Curtis Mead is sixth. And playing third base, Jose Series in center, hitting seventh. Austin Shinton gets his first start. He's playing first base tonight for the Rays. And Rene Pinto is behind the plate for Tampa Bay. So here's the Rays lineup. It is Diaz, Lau, and Rosarina, Rosario, Palacios, and Curtis Mead, and Siri, Shenton, and Pinto. There are your lineups brought to you by our good friends at the Gold and Diamond Source. Time now for the injury update for both clubs. The uh, league injury up, uh, the injury report is being presented by our good friends at Trajan Wealth. And let's look at the Rangers' injuries first. They do include starting pitchers Michael Lorenzen. He's out with a right neck strain. Max Scherzer with a bad back. And also Jacob DeGrom. He's on that 60-day uh, DL list. Is He is uh, actually on a throwing program as he continues to rehab from uh, elbow surgery. Nate Lowe uh, has an oblique. He's on the 10-day injured list for the Rangers. And reliever Jonathan Hernandez is also on the 15-day injury list for the Rangers. For your Tampa Bay Rays starting pitchers, Drew Rasmussen and Jeffrey Springs are, of course, on the 60-day injury list. And starting pitcher Taj Bradley and Shane Boz are both on the 15-day injury list. Bradley uh, has got a pectoral injury, of course, and um, he is expected back in the lineup sometime in May. Shane Boz with an elbow and an oblique, so it may be June before he gets uh, back into the pitching thing for the Rays, but we'll keep you updated on that. Taylor Walls is coming along fine from that hip injury. We should have an update on his injury tomorrow. Uh, Johnny DeLuca's got a broken right hand. Jonathan Aranda, right broken ring finger, and they're both on the 10-day injury list. Josh Lowe, of course, on the 10-day injury list. With an oblique, he is the starting right fielder for your Tampa Bay Rays. So there are your injuries presented by our friends at Trajan Wealth. Once again, we're counting down to the Rays against the Rangers, presented by Pen Chasers, Tampa Bay's home for bowling, for food, and for fun. Visit penchasers.net for more info. This is the Inside Pitch presented by the Central Florida Behavioral Health Network and the Department of Children and Families. Prescription opioids can be addictive and dangerous. It only takes a little to lose a lot. There is hope, though. Recovery is possible. For more information, go to cfbhn.org. All right, when we come back, I'll have your keys to victory for the Rays in tonight's Game 1 of this three-game set with a World Series champion, Texas Rangers from Tropicana Field here on your home for Rays Baseball 95.3 WDAE and the mighty AM620. Rivard Buick GMC, the number three. Wait a minute. I got that wrong there. Rivard Buick GMC, the number two GMC dealer in the country. That's right. Rivard Buick GMC is now the number two GMC dealer in the entire country. How'd they get there? Well, massive inventory, which means you've got options. Insane discounts you just won't see these days. Go to RevardBuickGMC.com and see for yourself. And last but not least, a staff to help you get through the car buying process start to finish. Visit RevardBuickGMC.com today. GMC. 
We are professional grade. One day you're serving in the military and then the next day you come home and you're dealing with an injury. Addiction is hard. You have to reach out for help. The recovery side of it is amazing. You get to a place where you're proud of yourself again. If you're struggling with prescription opioids, there is hope. Recovery is possible. Contact Central Florida Behavioral Health Network at cfbhn.org. Central Florida Behavioral Health Network is a managing entity contracted with the Department of Children and Families. He's a former coach with two sons who played professional basketball. Satch Sullinger's a competitive individual, but his golf game was suffering because of painful joints. Right. That's real important. The golf game. Right. As we get older, we create these bad habits because we're relegated to hit a certain way. QC Kinetics used regenerative treatments, all natural healing properties from Satch's own body to restore those damaged joints and get his golf game back on track. QC Kinetics Regenerative Medicine is regenerating me. All natural. And that's what I'm about. I'm going to tell everybody why I'm better. Oh, and by the way, it looks like the competitive Satch is back. We're all in the same boat, and I'm getting better, and I'm watching them stay old. Go to QCKinetics.com. Get relief and your game back. Call for your complimentary consultation. Call QC Kinetics, 813-305-3000. That's 813-305-3000. Locations in Bradenton, St. Pete, Lakeland, and Brandon. 813-305-3000. Crunching the numbers. Reviewing the matchups. Here's today's keys to the game on the inside pitch. One big key for the race tonight. Ronnie Lane here as we wrap up inside pitch, and that is starting pitcher Ryan Pepio. Hey, the Rays have won two games. When they won those two games, they had good starting pitching, so it's pretty easy. Ryan Pepio. Plus, Pepio's going to be a big part of this rotation, and they need him to come shining through until they can get some help with that starting rotation. You've been listening to the Inside Pitch presented by the Central Florida Behavioral Health Network and the Department of Children and Families on 95.3 WDAE and AM620. Enjoy the game. Ray's pregame is next. Hi, I'm Benny Jr. with Bartow Ford. The college basketball playoffs have always been one of my favorite times of the sporting year. Why? It's a chance for a small town school to beat a perennial powerhouse. Bartow Ford has been that underdog, outselling big city dealerships every single day, every single year. We only do this by teamwork and taking care of our customers. It's just another way at Bartow Ford we're different, and we prove it. your loved ones look no further than pin chasers at pin chasers we've been guaranteeing a great time for over 65 years whether you're a family kids or young adults pin chasers is the place to be enjoy exciting bowling delicious food and non-stop fun under one roof visit our website at pinchasers.net to learn more and plan your unforgettable outing at pin chasers it's guaranteed fun or it's on us victim of a car crash, you will always speak to a lawyer. You'll always get the highest standard of care from our dedicated legal team and will always fight to get you the maximum compensation you deserve. That's the Anna Jar and Levine difference. Call our legal team right now for a free consultation. Call 1-800-747-FREE. That's 1-800-747-3733. Don't wait. Call 1-800-747-FREE. Main office Tampa. 24-7 home for those who represent Team Tampa Bay. We are 95.3 FM, W237CW, Pendellas Park. And the mighty 620 WDAE St. Petersburg. Streaming live right now on your free iHeartRadio app. All your sports, music, talk, and podcasts. Hey, Tampa Bay, free has never sounded so good. This is Plays Radio. And pros. Swinging a high drive in the air to right. Moving back Kepler to the track, to the wall. Gone! Randy Arozarena walked it off. And the Rays defeat the Twins 2-1. to one. Welcome to the 2024 Tampa Bay Rays pregame show. Coming up, we'll preview today's game with Rays manager Kevin Cash. Take you inside the clubhouse and check in with the guys who'll bring you today's play-by-play, Andy Freed and Neil Solons. Swing a drive to deep left field. This is way back toward Baltimore. And gone! A big bat flip for Harold Ramirez. His three-run homer makes it 7-0 here in the sixth. The Rays pregame show starts right now. 
We try to educate mm-hmm. as well as entertain you. Mm-hmm. Here's your host, Chris Adams Wall. From Tropicana Field in downtown St. Petersburg, Florida, this is indeed the Rays Radio pregame show. And hello again, everyone. My name is Chris Adams Wall, and back at our network studios is Jason Berenger. We are happy to have you with us, and the Rays are still here at home, welcoming in the Texas Rangers for a three-game series starting tonight, the first matchup these two teams have had since last year's American League wildcard series. We know how that went. Texas won both of those games en route to their first World Series championship ever. And tonight, the Rangers will throw Dane Dunning on the mound. Dunning is a right-hander who spent last postseason in their bullpen, but a guy who has started in his career before. But for your raise, it will be Ryan Pepio's Tampa Bay debut. Pepio, of course, was with the L.A. Dodgers organization until this offseason when he came to the Rays in the Tyler Glass now Manuel Margot deal. So for both of these right-handers, it'll be their first time starting in 2024. Ryan Pepio for the Rays against Dane Dunning of the Rangers. But we do want to go back to yesterday. Not that it was a favorable result for the Rays, but they did close out a four-game series to begin the season against the Toronto Blue Jays on Sunday afternoon at Tropicana Field. The Blue Jays scored two runs in the first inning against Rays opener Sean Armstrong, but into the bottom of the first, Randy Orozarena pulled one back. Gossman ready, pumps the leg and pitches. Popped him up into right field, although it's pushing back Biggio to the track at the wall, and it's gone! Home run! That ball had tremendous life on it as it carried over the right center field wall. Home run to Rosarena, 2-1 to one, Toronto. But unfortunately, the Blue Jays proved to be a bit too much for Tyler Alexander, the Rays' bulk man. And the Rays managed just two runs on three hits against Kevin Gosman in company. Justin Turner added three hits to the Blue Jays' 9-2 victory. Turner drove in four of those nine runs. So the Rays lose 9-2 yesterday, and they are 2-2 to begin the 2024 regular season with the defending World Series champion Rangers in town tonight for the start of a three-game series. But now to tell you a little bit more about tonight's matchup between Ryan Pepio and Dane Dunning, let's shoot it over to the two guys who will bring you all of the action of tonight's game. That's the voices of the Rays, Andy Freed and Neil Solons. Thanks very much, Chris. As we get set for first pitch tonight, first matchup between the Rays and Rangers since last year's playoff series. You had to bring up last year's playoff series. No, that was uh, that was a crusher, those two. I remember going into that series, Neil, thinking this will probably be a, a three-gamer. You know, I, I think we'll we'll split the first two and figure out something on, on the last on the last one. But my goodness, the Rangers had uh, no interest in that whatsoever. The young players played great. Their veterans played great. They outplayed the Rays in every possible way. But let's not forget, too, the Rays beat them two out of three here at Tropicana Field last year during the regular season. So that's where we are now, and that's all that matters. Tip the cat, tip the Cowboy hat to the Rangers. They deserved it. They were the best team in October, uh, but now it's a little bit different. And I, and I think the story tonight is Ryan and Pepio and seeing what's he got. I feel a lot better about him now than I did a couple of weeks ago when, when he was kind of stumbling along a little bit in spring training. But his last two starts, very, very good. The last one here against the Tigers and the one in Clearwater against the Phillies. Well, if he's going to be good tonight, he better be because this lineup is as good as any you're going to find. They can mash, and I'm still looking for the weak spot in that order. I'm not so sure that they have one. And uh, interested in Wyatt Langford. I mean, he's part of the the talk of baseball right now to spend, what, 44 games in the minor leagues and to go basically from the University of Florida, where he didn't even play much his freshman year, into being uh, one of the top college players, fourth in the draft, and now he's in the big leagues. And it sure seems like uh, he really, really deserves it, too. Had a great spring. Maybe he's one of those guys that uh, maybe he's Dave Winfield or Bob Horner or one of those rare birds that comes through without needing minor league development. Well, we certainly hope the home cooking isn't that good for him, at least for three days here. Right now, we send it back to Chris adams Wall. All right. Thanks very much, guys. We do appreciate it. We will go to our first break here on the Rays Radio pregame show. But when we return, I'll get together with a couple of different guys. First, Mark Topkin of the Tampa Bay Times. Then Texas Rangers radio announcer Matt Hicks. That's all coming up right after this on the Rays Baseball Network. 
Looking for a fun-filled day with your loved ones? Look no further than Pin Chasers. At Pin Chasers, we've been guaranteeing a great time for over 65 years. Whether you're a family, kids, or young adults, Pin Chasers is the place to be. Enjoy exciting bowling, delicious food, and nonstop fun under one roof. Visit our website at pinchasers.net to learn more and plan your unforgettable outing at Pin Chasers. It's guaranteed fun, or it's on us. Ah, the sounds of baseball. But if you have hearing loss, you miss out on the action. Audibel Hearing Centers provides a better quality of life for those suffering from hearing loss. Offering free hearing tests by trained specialists at their 26 locations. Don't buy hearing aids online. Get yours custom made. Make an appointment for Audibel Hearing Centers at floridahearing.com. Better hearing through professional care. Proud partner of the Tampa Bay Rays. Hey Ray fans, Anthony Sullivan here. Are you looking for unbelievably amazing coffee? Well, I'm here to tell you about Florida's Major League Coffee, Kawa Coffee Roasters. It's some seriously delicious coffee brewed in Tampa Bay since 2006. Enjoy it in the morning, enjoy it in the afternoon, enjoy it at night, and even enjoy it at a Tampa Bay Rays game. Get this amazing coffee at kawacoffee.com or any of the Bay Area locations. One day you're serving in the military and then the next day you come home and you're dealing with an injury. Addiction is hard. You have to reach out for help. The recovery side of it is amazing. You get to a place where you're proud of yourself again. If you're struggling with prescription opioids, there is hope. Recovery is possible. Contact Central Florida Behavioral Health Network at cfbhn.org. Central Florida Behavioral Health Network is a managing entity contracted with the Department of Children and Families. This is the home of the Pat Aaron Show. Weekday mornings beginning at 6 a.m. We are WDAE, the home of the Tampa Bay Rays. Streaming now on the free iHeartRadio app. Chris Adams all back here on the Rays Radio pregame show. Joined now by Mark Topkin of the Tampa Bay Times. Topper, I know you had the day off yesterday, but obviously a tough loss for the Rays against the Toronto Blue Jays. But we turned the page, and now the Texas Rangers are in town. What's noticeable about them, or notable about them rather, is the fact that the Rays played them in the postseason last year. Yeah, and those really big rings that some of those guys will have on. We saw the ring ceremony the other day, and uh, there's a tie-in to the Rays. And I know you're a master of detail, so I'm sure you're well aware about this. But So on their route to winning the World Series, they went undefeated at each series postseason series they played. So undefeated on the road. The teams they beat were the Rays, Orioles, Astros, and Diamondbacks. What does that spell? R-O-A-D. Road. So they used the letter from each team's logo that they beat along the way inscripted in their ring. So that Rays R has a special place in their heart. Uh, We know from talking to the Rays, it was not a fun series to remember. A frustrating end to what had been a really good season. They battled through so much, lost so many players win 99 games, felt like they had some momentum. Texas looked like they had no momentum, had to fly across the country. And it's just the way baseball works, right? The Rangers find a way to get hot. The Rays' bats cool off. The Rangers beat the Rays. At that point, I don't think anybody thought they would give the Orioles much of a battle. They beat them, and they beat the Astros, they beat the Diamondbacks, and they win the trophy, and they get the ring. Yeah, and now they're back here at Tropicana Field where it all began. On the mound for the race today is going to be someone new. Now, you and I have seen him quite a bit in spring training. He's actually pitched at Tropicana Field before, and it was six days ago in the race final game of spring training against the Detroit Tigers. His name, of course, is Ryan Pepio. The Rays got him, and speaking of the Rangers series, for Tyler Glass now and Manuel Margot. Glass now, of course, pitched in that series, but... Ryan Pepio pitched really well in that game on Tuesday against the Tigers. He had eight strikeouts in that game. But now this one actually counts. It does, and, and we know things can be different. We've certainly seen some of the Rays hitters that look really good during the spring, such as Harold Ramirez, cool off once the season started. And it's it's part of the cycle of baseball. But I think what Ryan Pepio, I go back to is uh, last spring training start you mentioned was really good. The one before that in Clearwater was really good. The one before that, he had a bad first inning in I mean, at the Twins, I think it was, in Fort Myers. And then he ended up going back and had a really good second, third, and fourth inning. And right before that, they had skipped him pitching in an exhibition game, had him do some uh, backfield work. And he specifically remembered, because you pitch on the backfield, there's no real rules. You're pitching against your own guys, live BP, simulated game, whatever. Kyle Snyder's standing right behind him. Kyle Snyder, the pitching whisperer, right? Well, he kept drilling into Pepio's head, throw strikes, throw strikes, throw strikes. 
And, man, that's, like I said, the first inning against Minnesota, not so much. But everything else, he has been a strike-throwing machine since then. And that's what the Rays were hoping for. That's what they want. And from the looks of it, if he can continue that, he'll be really effective. Yeah, he's cut down on his walk rate quite a bit, even with his time or during his time with the L.A. Dodgers. Another guy who was relatively new to this to this roster made his Major League debut yesterday, and that was Austin Shenton filling in for Yandy Diaz. But today, Austin Shenton is going to start at first base for the Rays. Yeah, Kevin Cash made a very important managerial move, at least in court, at least for the Shenton family. Was uh, he told they they normally tell the guys the night before after the previous day's game if they're starting the next day what their role is so they know and um, he knew he was going to start his. Parents, I think it's his parents, his godmother, and his girlfriend were all slated to fly back to Seattle this morning. But since he knew he was starting, they were all able to change their flights. It was very nice of you to pick up the change fee, by the way. He mentioned you took care of that for them. Yeah, of course. Um, but yeah, so they're all going to get to see him start. And you know, Cash had said, "Did anybody? Did, we, did anyone know if his family stick around?" They are because Cash told them the day before. So it'll be a really cool day for Austin Chetton. A guy who's overcome a lot to get this far. You know, really, he's you know he's very he's aware. He understands he's only on the big league roster because Aranda got hurt. But hey, opportunity presents itself in different ways, and he's here and he's starting a major league game, and he'll always have that, no matter what else ever happens. Speaking of opportunities, let's talk about Ahmed Rosario, who's actually been playing a pretty nice center or right field so far for the Rays, but. He's going to play shortstop today because some guys are getting some rest, right? Yeah, and uh, you know Kevin Cash, there's no hard rules on this, but he said, you know, with the turf, uh, especially it being new, they're all kind of getting used to it. Didn't want to run Caballero out there for five straight days. Uh, he made a point of saying how well Caballero has played. I think we could all agree he's played a really good shortstop. Obviously had some good at bats, showed a little feistiness the other day, but also some control. Didn't let anything you know get out of control in that little incident with Genesis Cabrera of the Blue Jays. Uh, so he gets a day. Ahmed Rosario, very comfortable playing shortstop, position he played most of his career. Not not maybe the greatest defensive performance of late, but certainly the Rays feel comfortable using him out there as spot starting. Look, if that game's close in the late innings, it wouldn't surprise me to see Caballero right back out there. Yeah, well, I can't wait for you. It wouldn't surprise me if you picked up some of my change fees next time I get a flight, Mark Topkin. We appreciate you joining us on uh, the Rays pregame show. And we'll talk to you again down the line. So I don't know if that means you realize you're not sticking around a long time or you're actually going to like go to a road game and like buy your own ticket and wave at us in the press box. I'm thinking about vacation already, yeah. Sounds good. I can't wait. That was Mark Topkin of the Tampa Bay Times. We're going to go to another break here on the Rays Radio pregame show. But when we return, I'll get together with Matt Hicks, one of the voices of the Texas Rangers, to talk about last season, winning the World Series, and a whole lot more. That's all coming up next right here on the Rays Baseball Network. Moonshine has been reimagined by Sipshine, and we've got a flavor just for you. We've created Moonshine made for easy sipping. Yeah, that's right, Moonshine. We've got unique flavors to enhance your spirit tasting experience. Sipshine is available nationwide. Visit our website and use our product locator to find us in establishments near you. Sipshine, get you a sip. Need a new roof? Go with the MVPs of the roofing industry like the Rays do. Quality Roofing Incorporated, the official roofing partner of the Tampa Bay Rays. With over 40 years of extensive experience, owner Rick Jenkins has been serving and caring for the Tampa Bay community and beyond in both commercial and residential roofing. Go with the big hitters, a family-owned business with an all-star team of over 100 players. Visit us at our website, quality-roofing.com, social media, or call us at 813-620-4797 for a free estimate. Every pitch, every hit, every step of the way this Rays baseball season. We are WDAE, streaming live right now on Alexa and the free iHeartRadio app. Chris Adams Wall back here on the Rays Radio pregame show, and I'm joined now by one of the voices of the Texas Rangers, Mr. Matt Hicks. Matt, thanks so much for joining us. We appreciate it. Uh, Thanks for having me on. Yeah, so you guys are back here for the first time since the American League Wild Card Series, where it all began, right? What do you remember from that series? Obviously, Rays fans remember uh, the team losing twice to you. Yeah, what I remember is we had been on the road for a week, uh, and uh, we can only have one piece of luggage on the uh, plane. And so I packed for seven days, and when we got here to Tampa, I was hoping I could do laundry. Uh, And the hotel that they put us up in in downtown Tampa had 
three washers and dryers, and so it was clutch. And I washed my entire load thinking, and this is the mindset, we're not playing two here and going home for the season to be over. I am washing all my clothes because we're going to go to Baltimore and we're going to win there too. So kind of having that positive mindset. Um, and you probably don't have enough time for me to tell you the whole lucky pants story. But I'm wearing those lucky pants right now, which I wore for each of our first seven postseason games last year, and uh, we won them all. Have those pants been washed? Oh, yes, these ha- these pants have been washed. They were washed that day, that off day before the series started last year, and I'm like, well, I'm going to go ahead and put these pants on, and then we won. And, you know, the first rule of baseball is you don't mess with a winning streak, and so I didn't. <laughs> you didn't at all. But thank goodness that one hotel had the, yeah. the washer and dryers. Can you talk a little bit about what that run was like, though? I know you've been with the Rangers for a long time, and the Rangers had never won a World Series prior to last year. Just how special was that run to the 2023 Fall Classic? Well, it was special, and it was certainly unexpected because the way we finished the regular season by going 3-4 and four on that road trip to Anaheim and Seattle and really only needing two wins in Seattle, and we didn't get the one win until the third game of the series to lock up a postseason berth. But then we had a chance on that final day, you know, to be able to, to win. Uh, and then Houston could have lost in Arizona, but neither of those things happened. We ran up against George Kirby, who was outstanding. And so there was really this sense of almost defeat, even though we had made the postseason tying Houston to being the wild card team. But it was funny because that flight from Seattle to here is a five-hour, five-minute direct flight. And I noticed that a lot of our guys had already put the regular season behind them. They were already focused on game planning for the Rays. And I thought, even though the odds were stacked against us, and and we hadn't played all that well on the road down the stretch, and we were very inconsistent in September, that this team had more focus than you would expect them to. And I think that that paid dividends here in this series, and it just started to snowball. I really didn't think we had a shot at the World Series when we played game one here. But after we won this series and we went to Baltimore and... Uh, the second game of that series when Mitch Garver hit the Grand Slam early and we went up big, at that moment I'm like, we might just do this. Yeah. Yeah, And so that feeling of positivity just kept snowballing throughout. Do you think that it speaks to the randomness, quote-unquote, or lack of a better word, that you guys did win the World Series? I mean, obviously a really talented team, but I don't think anybody expected it to be Rangers Diamondbacks last season. No, the number five seed in the American League against the number six seed (laughs) In the National League, and 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 let's not take anything away from Arizona. They were a quality club, and and really, you know, after the way we won Game One of the World Series, and then got hammered in Game Two, had we not had those ninth inning and eleventh inning heroics in Game One, we could have gone to Phoenix down 0-2 to that club. So yeah, there's a lot of randomness that's involved, but the, I think the main thing that's involved, especially in the postseason, is good quality starting pitching. And we just, we got that from Nathan Nivaldi. We got it from Jordan Montgomery. And then the other guys that stepped up, you know, when Andrew Heaney had his opportunity, he provided a quality start, or maybe not the definition of a quality start, but gave us the quality that we needed. And so we got that really, really good starting pitching last year throughout the postseason. And the the lineup just kind of fed off of itself with the success that they had. Speaking of starting pitching, Dane Dunning is going for Texas today. A guy who apparently is working on a fork ball. Not many players or pitchers throw that in the majors anymore. What can you tell us about him? Yeah, uh, well, well, Dane is one of those guys that has uh, almost zero emotion on the mound, which is a good thing. There's really nothing that bothers him. Uh, yes, he's been working on a fork ball. It was actually something that he started uh, messing around with last year in the postseason. Um, and I don't know as though he feels as though it's refined. It's probably still a work in progress. You know, he'd snap a few off here and there in spring training. So I don't know how much he's going to utilize that pitch here today. But we're certainly interested to, to see what uh, is there. But but he's a guy that really nothing phases him. He attacks and he also works quickly. And he he was successful in whatever role the Rangers put him in last year, and he'll be successful in whatever role we put him in this year, too. Well, we really appreciate you joining us on uh, the Rays Radio pregame show. Matt Hicks, you and your lucky pants, congratulations (laughs) again for what the Rangers accomplished last season, and best of luck today. Thank you so much, Chris. I appreciate it. And we're going to go to a break, but we'll be right back after this on the Rays Baseball Network. 
Spectrum One is a big deal. You get Spectrum Internet with the most reliable internet speeds, free advanced Wi-Fi for enhanced security and privacy, and a free Spectrum Mobile Unlimited line with nationwide 5G included, all while saving big. For the big speed, big reliability, and big savings you want, get Spectrum One. Just $49.99 a month for 12 months. Visit spectrum.com slash big deal for full details. Offer subject to change. Valid for qualified residential customers only. Service not available in all areas. Restrictions apply. Live rangerously with Voodoo Ranger's newest recruit, Tropic Force IPA. Tropic Force is a bold blast of mango and pineapple flavors, landing at a hard-hitting 9.5% ABV. Find Tropic Force IPA in singles and six-packs throughout the great state of Florida and nationwide. Follow Voodoo Ranger on Instagram at Voodoo Ranger to learn about the latest beer releases and how to live ranger at sleep. Please drink Voodoo Ranger responsibly. Consumption for people 21 and over. At Game Time Vending, we help local bars, restaurants, clubs, movie theaters, fraternal organizations, hotels, and other entertainment venues increase revenue with our 50-50 profit-sharing model. Making money for you without any upfront costs or fees. As the largest locally owned amusement vending operator in Florida, we've partnered with hundreds of businesses across the state to provide them with jukeboxes, pool tables, amusement games, crane machines, ATMs, and more. Call 941-538-5797 or visit GameTimeFlorida.com. Every pitch of the 2024 race season and Jay and Zach on your lunch hour weekdays at noon. We are WDAE streaming on Alexa in the free iHeartRadio app. The Rays Radio pregame show is sponsored by Progressive Insurance. You can protect home and auto, save when you bundle, get a quote at Progressive.com. And Chris Adams Wall back with you with Jason Barringer back in our network studios. Rays and Rangers almost ready to go in game one of three here at Tropicana Field. It'll be Ryan Pepio, the righty for the Rays, against another righty in Dane Dunning for the Rangers. And tonight, Ahmed Rosario is going to start for the first time at shortstop for the Tampa Bay Rays. He spoke to the media a little bit earlier today about his comfort level at that position. Me siento bastante bien, nada, cam nada cambia. Es eh, algo que ya yo lo he venido o jugando esa posición anteriormente, so no creo que haya algo de diferencia. No, I feel good. You know, it's nothing different. You know, I'm going in the position I played before, so I don't see much of a difference going into today's game. I was going to say, you, you've said you're confident anywhere. Is that just kind of the mentality you take into every day, no matter where you're playing? Has dicho que tienes confianza donde quiera que juegas. Esa es la mentalidad que tú tienes. Por supuesto, tú sabes, yo estoy aquí para ayudar al equipo. Donde el equipo me necesita, ahí voy a estar yo. Yeah, of course. I'm here to wherever the team needs me. Wherever they, it's necessary for me to play, I'm going to be there and I'm going to be ready to go. Does that feel like the, the most comfortable position for you still, just since you spent the most time there? ¿Crees que te sientes más cómodo en esta posición en comparación de las otras posiciones porque has jugado ahí más? Creo que sí, creo que es la posición donde he pasado más tiempo. Entonces yo creo que no es algo nuevo. Yo creo que es algo, tengo un ratico que no la juego, pero creo que me siento bastante bien. Yeah, I think so. It's a position that I've played uh, the majority of, and even though I haven't played there for a while, I still feel uh, fairly comfortable playing the position there. That was Ahmed Rosario and Rays translator Manny Navarro. Rosario will play shortstop as Jose Caballero gets a breather tonight, and Rosario will also hit cleanup. Another interesting note, Austin Shenton will make his first big league start tonight. The Washington State native will play first base and hit eighth. He made his major league debut yesterday, though, taking over for Yandy Diaz in the Rays' loss to the Blue Jays, and he spoke about what he was doing over there at first base when he was playing that position and he got a chance to talk to a one Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Yeah, I, I think I looked around for a second and then uh, I actually talked to Vlad, you know, and for a bit and he just kind of just, just enjoy it, you know, and, you know, and I was like, thanks, bro, I will. And I, I just tried to enjoy it and be happy and grateful that I was out there, you know, it's, it's a pretty big deal for me and it's been a long journey just to get to this point and, um, you know, it's just been exciting. Do you have anything else to tell you besides enjoy it? Uh, yeah, and try to stick around for a while. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Pretty good welcome to the big leagues moment. You look over for your first base and Vlad Jr. standing there. Yeah, I know. It's funny because he's younger than me, but he's uh, he's been around for a while. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, it's pretty it's pretty cool though. Yeah, good point. Is that like a pinch me, like a pinch me moment for you, like to be standing out there with him? And like you're right there next to him. Yeah, yeah. I think I think just being out there in general, you know, it's it's just a dream come true. Mm -hmm.
any jitters right now, or do you think you'll jitters during uh, B- 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 BP or anything? Yeah, I think this whole this whole like past five days I've had jitters off and on. Um, but no, I think you know once I get out there, just try to treat it the same game and try to enjoy being out there. You know, I think that's the biggest thing: enjoy competing and and just trust in, in all of my preparation. That's got me to this point. Rays first baseman Austin Shenton. We'll go to our final break here on the Rays Radio pregame show and come back and get you all ready for the Rays and Rangers right after this on the Rays Baseball Network. Spectrum One is a big deal. You get Spectrum Internet with the most reliable internet speeds, free advanced Wi-Fi for enhanced security and privacy, and a free Spectrum Mobile Unlimited line with nationwide 5G included, all while saving big. For the big speed, big reliability, and big savings you want, get Spectrum One. Just $49.99 a month for 12 months. Visit spectrum.com slash big deal for full details. Offer subject to change. Valid for qualified residential customers only. Service not available in all areas. Restrictions apply. Hard AF Seltzer is now with the Tampa Bay Rays and the Tampa Bay Rowdies. We're conveniently located throughout both stadiums in four flavors. Peach, blue raspberry, pina colada, and watermelon. Our 8% seltzer has no carbs, no sugars, no gluten, but all the fun. Check out our store locator at hardafseltzer.com today to find the closest location nearest you when you're not at the games. Hey, Tampa Bay Rays fans, when the Rays score six runs, you score with Papa John's Pizza. The day after the Rays score six or more runs, get 50% off your online pizza order at papajohns.com with promo code RAYS6. That's right, get 50% off your online pizza order at regular menu price online or when you use the Papa John's mobile app the day after the Rays score six or more runs. Just enter promo code RAYS6, valid online only at participating locations. Taxes to delivery fee extra, locally owned and operated. This is the home of the Pat and Aaron Show. Weekday mornings beginning at 6 a.m. We are WDAE, the radio home of the Tampa Bay Rays, streaming now on the free iHeartRadio app. That is going to do it for us on the Rays Radio pregame show. We so appreciate you tuning in. Rays and Rangers right around the corner. Ryan Pepio's Tampa Bay debut against Dane Dunning. Andy and Neil have the play-by-play. We will talk to you again in the fifth inning. Enjoy the game, everyone. Thank you for listening to the Rays pregame show. As this ball is blasted to straightaway center. That's no that joke. goes Adams. This ball is long gone. Speaking of the jungle cruise, that one is into the jungle. Well into it for Randy Rosarena's 19th home run of the season. On deck are the voices of the Rays, Andy Freed and Neil Solons, who will bring you all the action from first pitch to the final out. Bosch tools are built for workers. Bosch's powerful hammer drill has kickback control to help work go more smoothly when you need it. The two-in-one impact driver and wrench quickly changes between bits and sockets, so you only need one tool instead of two. And the X-Lock grinder switches wheels up to five times faster than standard grinders. Bosch tools take care of the job and you. Bosch tools, what hard workers deserve. Learn more at BoschTools.com. He ran halfway across Tampa Bay. Race Raymond to the finish line. Running with the Rays 5K is on Sunday, April 7th. The run will start at Tropicana Field and continue through the streets of downtown St. Petersburg, routing through Al Lang Stadium before finishing on the Tropicana Field turf. Fans can join in person or virtually. A portion of all proceeds benefit the Rays Baseball Foundation. Register for the live or virtual race at RaysBaseball.com slash 5K. Rays up. We've seen it a thousand times. Insurance companies use the same tired excuses not to pay. They'll say you're really not hurt or that your injury is from an old accident. That's why it's so important to hire a law firm who has their own medical experts who know how to fight excuses with facts. When they bring excuses, we bring the truth. And truth is power. Farah and Farah, here for you, here for good. Tampa. Spring is finally here, and there's so many things to enjoy with the warmer weather. But it also means bugs, termites, mosquitoes, ants, and roaches will be out in full force. Luckily, you can trust the pros at Hughes Exterminators to keep your home pest-free inside and out. 
Hughes protects homes and businesses and is the pest control provider of Tropicana Field and the Tampa Bay Rays. So you know that you're getting the best from the best. To set up a free pest inspection, call 877-GO-HUES or visit HughesExterminators.com. This is the Tampa Bay Rays Radio Network. Here turns the long arm stroke in the pitch. Swing and a high drive into right center field. Back goes Bader to the right tank. It's gone! Home run, a Rosa Reina. one nothing Rays. And they're going nuts in Randy Land. Today's game is brought to you by Tropicana, the juice that starts it all. Canes Furniture, quality selection value. That's the confidence of Canes. With Walls at first, the pitch. Swing and a ball, sliced toward right. Back Hernandez, out of the track, look it up, and it's gone! An opposite field homer! Yandy Diaz flexes his muscles. He flexed it over the right field wall. And the Rays win again in walk-off fashion. Papa John's, better ingredients, better pizza. Papa John's, locally owned and operated. Crown Automotive, the better way to buy for over 50 years. Still one strike of life left to the Astros tonight. Fairbanks trying to extinguish at the pitch. Breaking ball, strike three called. Rays win it in Houston. He Fairbanks does slam the door, and the Rays win one in Houston and get back to 20 games above 500. And oh, was this win ever needed? To bring you the play-by-play of today's game, here are the voices of the Rays, Andy Freed and Neil Solons. Welcome, everyone, to Tropicana Field on a Monday night, the first one of its kind here in 2024 as the Rays open up the second series of the season tonight, welcoming in the world champion, Texas Rangers. Along with Neil Solons, I'm Andy Freed. We're glad you're with us. And, Neil, the story of the night is Ryan Pepio making his Rays debut, the last guy to 